to our select board meeting here on uh, April 17, 2019. Call to order. We will start with our consent agenda. And I apologize, I'm having some uh, internet problems, so I'm going to use Molly's computer for a minute until I get mine resolved. Um, we're going to start with the consent agenda. Uh, the first thing on the agenda is the warrants, PR19540, PR1941, AP1941, and AP1941-2. We have Greenfield Savings Bank 150th anniversary donation, a donation of a, I'm going to get this word right, sesquicentennial elm tree, uh, and the Hadley Flea Market has requested to install no parking signs on Route 47 during major events. And Council on Aging, we have Marjorie Townsend resignation. And there was another one on here too, is Bruce Brewer appointments with uh, Marjorie Townsend resigning. Here's your public paper oh, agenda. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make a motion to accept the consent agenda. So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 And we can open up uh, public comments. Are there any public comments? John? Yeah. <coughs> Now that the planning board approved the fire substation, what are your intentions of the Board of Selectmen to what action, or should I say proaction, to the drainage system running from Stockbridge Road south and discharging into Lake Warner? I feel it is essential that this drainage pipe line should be hammered to inspect the physical shape of this pipeline and not wait till there's a collapse when this is all hooked up, and then what do you do? Um, would someone from this board explain to me why the drainage system for this entire parcel wasn't e explored prior to the purchase of the land? Is there any comment of that? Uh, no comment of that, and your comment was that you want to see the drainage line hammered? Okay. Camera, right. Line right. Camera. Okay. All right. And then <clears throat> I want to ask for an explanation of what reason you would not request a 21E procedure on the parcel of land prior to the purchase. Instead, instead, do you put the burden on our taxpayers in the tune of nine thousand dollars to test only a small portion of land? used for the fire substation a project. What is the rest of the parcel going to cost our taxpayers? This board needs to stop making these expensive mistakes. And finally, <clears throat> I'm formally asking the Board of Selectmen to take action against a member of the board, of board Joyce Chunglo, for her inappropriate actions on 11-9-16. Molly Keegan was chairman of the board presiding. At, at the one hour, 56 minute mark section on the tape, Joyce Chunglo made this statement, quote, keep going, keep going, have a heart attack, unquote. In her profession as a registered nurse, this statement is outrageous and totally <coughs> unprofessional. I will be filing a complaint with the state's nursing board of, of registers in Boston. The three members of the board during that time, time frame were Joyce, John Lushkevich, and Chairman Molly Keegan. None of them commented on what Joyce said to me. Not only do I feel she violated the 1996 HEPA Act, but I'm appalled that any town representative would make this uncaring comment. I feel this board only acts on issues that they care to. As far as I'm concerned, the board, the board back then and today, current board, are the same. They sweep things under the rug that either they don't want to make public or they don't care. I'm offended <coughs> by these actions, or should I say inactions. The board's code of conduct is for, is for, 
is far from professional. I request a written, written response to this complaint. Thank you. And also, I would like these questions attached to the minutes. And I would like a written response. I'll give you copies. I took them all out of last week's statements. And I would like them attached to the minutes. All right, thank you. Any all right. Comments? Can we have a copy of those? What's that? May we have a copy of those? Yeah, I'm gonna, I said I'm going to give you a copy of them. Can Want I, it now? Can I propose something that will maybe make this a little bit less painful in the future for the public comments? Sure. Um, right now we have a 15 minute limit. Is there a limit per person? Can we, discretion of the chair. Okay. Can we do a uh, two minute per person limit per meeting? And then um, I, I guess anything that's requested we can get back no to the next meeting back. about rather than right then and there. So that way we can get yeah, time I mean, to public comment and yeah. we don't have to get back to anybody that has been during the meeting. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so, Excuse right. me, I called and they said there was no time limit. So it would be the two minute. I hope you do it next meeting and not tonight. Well, yeah, this it is would for the right. future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, so, I don't know, is there any interest in that? So that way we can kind of spread the time around reasonably. And um, we have 15 minutes for public comment. So, um, I don't know. Well, why don't we uh, consider it? Yeah, I think there are other municipalities that have individual limits and the, the intent is so that one person doesn't take up the full 15 minutes yes. right mm -hmm. um, and then again I think it goes to the discretion of the chair so we could okay. we could take a look uh, maybe to some other towns just to see what we're doing yeah. and bring it back for conversation. Yeah, we can look at that. Yeah, let's okay. do that. All right. Anyone else? <coughs> Ready? Okay. I think mine's about six minutes so I called they said there was no time limit within reason. And, and uh, if you don't mind, I like to stay seated because I do have Lyme disease. I came before the town of Hadley Select Board and Town Administrator on March 20th, 2019. I, create, I asked for a creation of a Human Rights Council, and I'm patiently waiting for a response. Lately, I've been reading about the Southern Poverty Law Center, in, uh, and they track hate groups across the United States. In 2018, the Southern Poverty Law Center tracked 1,020 hate crimes, and they said there's more hate groups in 2018 than ever before. I wish a group like the Southern Poverty Law Center would track acts of racism and bigotry and tenant abuse and bullying in senior and disabled housing. We definitely need a liaison between the Hadley Housing Authority and the Department of Housing and Community Development, which funds our housing authority and also runs our housing authority. Years back, I'm just going to give you a little history of Golden Court. Years back, Golden Court was functioning in chaos, and a small number of, of tenants, which a lot of people in town don't know, were able to acquire three wonderful attorneys, Jerry Levinsky, Bill Newman, and David Angier, to look at uh, bigotry, racism, tenant abuse, bullying, uh, tenant neglect, handicapped issues, health and safety issues, malfeasance in office of executive directors, Hadley housing boards, and past maintenance problems. And we had a giant meeting. I'm not even going to bother listing who was there, but we had people from Boston. We had politicians. We had the Gazette. And um, a court case followed. DHCD Housing Myrna, uh, Myrna D. Rodriguez, housing manager, took us out to, to eat, the Tenants Association officer. She told us that that would never happen again. DHCD would not abandon us. Guess what? DHCD rarely communicates with Hadley Housing Authority. We send her texts, we email, we phone call, we write grievances. Remember that your board, that which is town elected, allows no grievances to be heard. I've lived in Golden Court for 15 years, and some of the people here have lived here almost as much, and we have never had a grievance that's been heard or addressed. Uh, when tenants have asked board members and executive directors why no grievances have been heard, they say that DHCD is in, unaccessible, um, missing in action. They also complain about DHCD, but they do nothing to help tenants contact them. Once again, I'm going to say to you that the Hadley Housing Authority Board are elected by the town of Hadley. Even though we're state-run, we still live in the town of Hadley. 
The Hadley Housing Board members are mostly all white males, townies. Most of the board members keep running unopposed. One new governor appointed female board member won't even look or talk to the tenants who attend board meetings. Many board members and ex-directors past and present continue to exhibit aberrant abusive bullying behaviors. They have thrown gavels and papers at tenants. They speak disrespectfully. They're rude to tenants, especially women tenants that aren't from Hadley and ones that, you know, that are um, empowered. They have made racist and bigoted remarks, which I brought to your attention on the 20th. You know, I went into many of the bigoted re remarks that happened. Um, <coughs> The, even in it, because you're their town elected, I want the town to know who these people are that have been running our housing authority. Tenants can talk, tenants can talk. Tenants can only talk if agenda is presented. Again, tenants can talk. Tenants are supposed to talk about ideas and concerns. Some members of the Happy Housing stood in the way of our creation of our tenants association. It took us over a year to create. They were there, you know, bad mouthing us across the town. Hadley Housing Authority board members tried to undermine our organization. They even told new tenants to stay away from Tenants Association and its officers. Some tenants met with Mass Union of Public Housing Tenants, Margarita Morales, who helped us create our Tenants Association. We asked the board members that are elected in the town of Hadley to come take the edu educational courses with us. Guess what? They weren't interested. They sit at our meetings and they laugh about all the things they don't know. Tenants are the ones who suffer from their lack of knowledge and their lack of empathy. Have the Housing Authority board members, past maintenance work workers have even cut down our trees, our flowers, our bushes, laughing the entire time. I'm just giving you, you know, there's so many things that have happened. I'm giving you the things that have been really dramatic. The Hadley Housing Board applied for Community Preservation Commission money. They wanted it for surveillance cameras and for handicapped doors. Well, they got the surveillance cameras and we had to wait years for our handicapped doors. Uh, we had to get the American Civil Liberties involved once again in order to be able to get our handicapped doors. We called the man that created the Community Preservation Commission Act and said, should money be used for surveillance cameras? And he said, no, it's a stretch. But did anything happen to our board members? We contacted the town of Hadley, we contacted the Community Preservation Commission in this town, and not one person ever responded to us, because we're the forgotten people, because we live at Golden Court, and we're getting tired of being the forgotten people. I notified the CPA committee, I notified so many people, and no one was interested in following the story. I'm almost finished. The town elected Hadley Housing Authority Board is responsible for three tasks to help to create housing authority policy. Most of the policy was written by one board member who's no longer on our board by the name of Joe Fitzgibbons. Mr. Fitzgibbons wrote the policies even with an active tenants association. You can't just sit down and write a policy and have the rest of the board sign off on it. You're supposed to sit down with board members and you're supposed to sit down with tenants association officers and other tenants that are interested in contributing and, and create these policies, tweak old policies, abolish old policies. But guess what? They're still waiving these same 15 years. They're still waiving these, these policies at Golden Court. And the reason I'm telling you, once again, is these people are elected in your town. And I want everybody to know what's happening. And um, when we finally got together, when Howard Kosky was the head of our housing authority, Finally, some tenants sat down and, and wrote some policies. When we asked for hard copies of them, they said that the computers crashed. We've never been able to get hard copies. So people living at Golden Court now have no idea what our policies are. They are, you know, what, what they say they are when they decide to, to use particular ones. Another uh, task of the Hadley Housing Board is to hire an executive director, Mary Billion, who's our executive director now, was once our secretary. We were at a board meeting when she was sitting there tweaking the ad that was gonna go in the paper for an executive director job. We sat there as tenants watching her take the ads that were created by the board members, tweak them, and then she's the one who decided which paper they're gonna go into. So basically there was a coup at Golden Court where the secretary grabbed the job as the executive director. Your board. So can, can I just right. remind people that uh, other folks that were naming by name and 
and making that Well, this time I didn't name by name, but I'm not getting anywhere not naming names, so, so I am. Just, um, just want to let people know <laughs> that these folks have rights. Sure. And that, um, <clears throat> that if you could keep your comments on point at hand okay. rather than the personalities or the persons. Well, it's not personalities. It's stealing an executive directorship is not a personality. It's allowed to happen while people in town keep voting for these same people because nobody else is running against them. They've been unopposed. There should be a term limit for these people. Um, and also, every any time that there is new people that are being hired at Golden Court, there's, there's supposed to be a poster on the bulletin board, the, you know, who, what the job position is, and in town hall. Very rarely do we ever have a job opening there that's posted in our town. Well, anyway, the reason is that the executive director at Golden Court doesn't do anything about the board and allows them to speak the way they want or treat particular tenants the way they want is because they're her boss. So what is the hell? I mean, she's not going to sit there. Are you, are you finishing up? Well, I am finishing time. up. But they told me there was no time uh, limit, but well, I'm almost done. We only have 15 minutes for open. Okay, let me just get a few things more. Yeah. And we have one more. Yeah, yeah. Well, Very quick. Yeah. What? I have a comment. Very quick. Well, yeah, but I, they told me I had no time oh. limit. Oh, yeah, so. just, just if you could just finish it up in the next minute or so. Okay. Well, the main thing I was going to say is most people who live in Golden Court have no idea what's going on. Tenants are afraid to get involved. Some tenants are apathetic. Some friend, people don't care because they're getting 30% of their income for rent. And also that um, tenants deserve an executive director and housing board that's empathetic, well-informed, and fair-minded. The prison mentality has to go. Executive directors, maintenance people, board members that exhibit racist and bigoted and bullying behavior that we've had for the years I've lived at Golden Court must be fired. When Golden Court board members run for a re-election, vote them out. When I moved to Golden Court, it was mostly a white, white uh, Hadley, born and raised people. One black man was being moved to the Belchertown Housing Authority since his neighbor was calling him the N-word. No. Hadley housing is a little more diverse now, mainly due to the tenant activism that's starting to happen now. So anyway, uh, that's I have more to say, but okay, thank you. Please remember what I had to say when you're going out to vote. Thank you. Coalition. Oh, hey, I just wanted to make a quick comment. My name is Alexi Levine. I'm a, a new uh, person on the finance committee. Um, I might have made this comment at the town meeting, but I have to be out of town because Valerie, my partner, and I have a business in, uh, out of state and here. Um, so uh, what I'm seeing on the finance committee, being on the finance committee, is uh, a lot of need for money to pay the town employees a reasonable amount. And um, it seems they're getting paid less than I would have imagined. Um, that might be just my ignorance about how things work. but. Um, we don't have any money, it seems like, and uh, we just found out we're getting less from the state, so we have even less than we thought. And um, I, I wanted to say that I, th I think Hadley should embrace uh, cannabis more than the proposed bylaws I've seen. Um, it seems to me that cannabis, uh, that Hadley is a center of commerce here and also a center of agriculture. And no matter how you feel about cannabis, it is legal now. And we're going to all be experiencing the effects of that on our society, even if we try to minimize it in our town. Um, I think the farmers should be allowed to grow cannabis outdoors. Um, I think with the amount of value that's attached to cannabis, they can afford a lot of high-tech uh, surveillance and security systems that will take care of any worries about that. And it'll just... Uh, when I just recently brought, bought a property in town last year, I had to sign a right to farm uh, agreement because of the, I'm guessing you know the sounds of animals or the smell of fertilizer, um, and I'm sure the smell of cannabis is going to be much less offensive than the smell of fertilizer. Um, I think we have a great tradition of agriculture here. Uh, we even have Hadley grass, which would be great for branding cannabis. Um, and I think just even a little bit of money, even a little bit more money, would enable us to give everything, everybody, everything they want. And there's a huge labor shortage coming. It's just starting. 
And uh, we have a business where we have 13 or 14 employees, and we can't find people. We're starting to, it's starting to become impossible. We need to pay the good employees we have more, if, and it's going to get worse. So that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Okay. End of uh, public comments. And now we can move into. I can give you a minute if you want to say something quickly. Well, it sort of ties in with Sue's report. Um, it's hard to just read what I was going to say without tying it into what you said. Okay. It was not alleged bigotry as quoted in the Daily Hampshire Gazette, which, by the way, has done us a lot of harm. <clears throat> meaning that I'm a member, I'm, I'm a resident of Golden Core for 14 years, 15 years. It was not alleged bigotry. It was a breath sucking in loud and clear, stunning a full room into resounding silence. Shamefully, no one said a word. This was a full word room of happy people. Not they were stunned into silence, not quite believing what they had just heard. However, the housing board, elected by the town of Hadley, was fully aware, and nothing was done. And it still is going on. We would like some help on that. And I'm also going to throw in about this cannabis business. Does anybody have an addict in their family that didn't start with marijuana? I have one in my family, and it's the saddest situation that you can imagine. You know where it started? Right here in Hadley, mm -hmm. back when the kids were in high school here. Thank so you. why are we promoting this so much? People that are sick, I can see that, but what do you need it for? I know what you need it for, to make money. Thank you. So I am totally against that, and I really think that you should really tune in on your housing board. Okay, thank you. <coughs> oh, maybe, yeah. Was there anybody else public comment that you have? Thank you. Some things. Am I supposed to do this now? <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry about this. Sorry. But a lot of public comment. <coughs> it's 192 Russell Street. Is that? Copy there for the board and another copy. It's re reference your impact. And we have a laundromat in New Hampshire, which is a little bigger than this one, we're proposing. And I gave you a year's worth of this one, just one. See, those there are special filters. So there's minimum going into your, your sewer system. So those are special that every machine goes into, they have filters on it, and they're cleaned every day. So those water bills are for last year. Those are actual consumption. And I converted it over. It's 8,426 cubic feet total for 2018. That's 63,000 gallons total for one year. So when you divide that by 365, that comes out to 172 gallons a day is what really real numbers they use it you know so if we do that and we took your formula you know which is 1550 <coughs> that roughly come out to twenty six hundred and seventy six dollars and fifty four cents you know which would be the formula is saying it's fifteen fifty gallons per day fifteen dollars and fifty cents okay. for that impact yeah. Are we talking about oh, the sewer yeah. impact fee? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm yes. Yeah. 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 You have to excuse me, my, my nose is <laughs> enough to. Yeah. So we met with the planning board last night, and that was all a go. Everybody was happy on that. It was just a change of use. Mm -hmm. So the only stumbling block we have is this impact. You know, I wish every machine was running every minute but in, real, in the real world it's not. So these are real figures. You know, so we want to pay an impact fee, but we just want it to be reasonable, you know, for 
the town of Hadley plus us is the owners. Have okay. we heard from uh, so, DPW on this? Yeah, I don't know anything no. about this, so I'd be happy to work with you and DPW to come up with an understanding of what's happening here. Yeah, I think they wanted to do just a presentation. Yeah, just a presentation, but just as you know, for your information, you're in Massachusetts now, and Massachusetts states uh, states the laws, and they are setting the uh, Title V regulations. So that's what mm -hmm. we usually go by. So it's going to have to be something that you have to bring into the meeting and put them on the agenda for. Right. This was an informational. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we yeah. could get on in two weeks. I think it's May third or yeah. whatever. Okay. But just so the board's aware and they get the proper people here for the next meeting. So. You know, nobody's blindsided. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So we put that on. Uh, yeah. uh, the pictures. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You can keep that. Thank you for some business. Mm -hmm. It is May third, ma'am. May first, I believe it is. It's May first. Um, so I guess we can get into the budget conclusion. It would be helpful if I gave like an overview of where we are. Sure. Okay. Be great. So we did receive the uh, House Ways and Means uh, 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 cherry sheet and unfortunately the good news that I was hoping for turned sour. Uh, we ended up losing about uh, uh, about $24,400. That's where we are at this point in the red by 24,400. Uh, David, I thought it was 37, yeah, or is that just one line the item? The impact was uh, mitigated by higher than expected new growth. So our new growth is 205,550, whereas we started the budget cycle at 190. So we were able to knock that down a little bit. If we're $24,000 in the red, we're basically balanced because we've got room within the local receipts to bring this uh, together. So I'm not recommending that we go in and cut the budget, but adding to the budget is going to be very difficult at this point. So most of our money increases are requests that we been asked should probably be put up to a fall town meeting. We should probably just take a spin through. Okay, yeah, I, I, I can run through the list. Uh, let, me, let me make my comments so you all can yell. <laughs> and, and the public. Yeah. I, think, I think it's really time we need to level fund right now at this point. We've got three buildings that we've got to pay for that are being built right now in the next <laughs> year or so. We are taxing and spending out of control here right now, this board is. Whether you agree with me or not. And I, I just think we need to take a step back and take a look at what we're doing here. The, the emergency uh, requests absolutely need to be fixed. If we've got a problem with a drain line or a water line or a sewer line, that's totally understandable with the condition they're in. But the I want list really needs to be put on the side and held off a little bit until we can see exactly what, what we got rolling across the table here. Yeah, I mean, I guess my side is is that we, you know, if we don't have certain increases in certain areas and we're fearful we're going to lose people, um, and there's a cost to losing people, and the senior center, the library, the fire substation were all override, you know, debt exclusion. So those are separate draws than the budget we're talking about here. This is a separate line item, so to speak, in our overall balance sheet. And, you know, we can level fund, can take money out, but we do risk, you know, possibly losing people and having to find new people um, and afford bigger salaries to attract people in the future. So we're kind of in a little bit of a bind. Can I just ask for clarification from John? Yeah. Okay. So John, <laughs> no, 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 I just want to make sure I understand. When you say level fund, what level fund means to me is that our operating budget yes. is exactly the same as yes. it was last year. Except, we for, con except for contractual uh, pays, because they've already been negotiated, just like we've done in the past when we've level funded. 
So you're talking about, you're not talking just about not doing anything that's on the current request list. You're actually talking about rolling back the budget no. that we already have balanced. No. Y yes, right now, the, the proposed uh, budget mm -hmm. needs to be level funded, except for the contractual uh, fees that, that have already been negotiated. Right. So meaning That has to go up. That, so that wanna, always has to go up. So you want to take, um, you want to actually take money out of what we've already talked about and go go back in some cases not all and not all not all some people are level funded some people some people are, are still underfunded right? mm -hmm. we've discussed different boards and different organ reorganizations and i don't know if they can still operate under the funding they have right now well, but it really needs to be we need to sit down with these the building board and all the inspectors and, and see what we can do with it did you run the numbers to see what that looks like? No, I haven't. I've been through about half of it. Okay. Can we run through? Well, the only, the only thing I'll say real quick is that I, I get they were debt exclusion items, but it all goes into the what people are paying. It's still the tax rate. And that's, that's the that's complaint that I get is what they're paying. I, I get that it's two separate line items, but in the end, it's what they're writing the check for. So that's, that's the thing we have to be concerned about. But, can we just go through the list that we Yeah, have? yeah, we can go through the list. Yeah. Well, Dave, can you speak louder? I'm just I can hear you. Yep. All right, so the first thing on our list is the assessors. Yes. Uh, we were contemplating looking at the stipends for elected assessors. Uh, and we were asking during that meeting, can we reevaluate that in the fall? Stipends for elected officials have been kind of eliminated, except for the assessors. Um, I would like to propose that we hold off on that until we do a complete review of all of the boards, not even just put them onto the fall, but I think it should be in the context of, of all the boards, <coughs> not just do a one off for the assessors. Do you have any idea how much? that matters really when we put this off like how much how much time they've been meeting how many times a month do they meet or well that's what we had talked about for all of the boards you know you've got the planning board meets you know twice. every other week yeah. we meet two or three times a month right. you've got so the school, school committee board. meets less Once. frequently Once than, yeah. you know um but then like the board of health i think actually meets more frequently yeah, so weekly, yeah. yeah you know and so it seems out of from a from an equity standpoint we should take all of the boards um you know as you know some of them we agreed are still receiving stipends for there was logic behind that and then the rest of us gave it up um before we go addressing any one individual yeah. board mm -hmm. i'll second that to take a look at the to hold off until we can take a look at all the boards in the fall okay any other discussion on that okay all in favor aye, aye. 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 <coughs> and then the next item on the list was uh, the fire department. Uh, they were requesting an admin salary, be a position be created for an admin person at a cost of around $14,864. Um, the building, and then they also had it on their list. Uh, this might have been something that was accounting. I don't know, David, if you have changed this since, but the building fire monitoring, there was 6000 that was supposed to be in fire budget, but maybe it was somewhere else in the budget. DPW or something. Wasn't yeah. it building yeah. maintenance? Yeah. 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 It should be so I haven't made sense. any changes to the budget that we can the people to make decisions about how we But it was originally under building maintenance and Fire wanted it moved under fire, right? right. right. So it's actually you, the fire that are doing that. Right. So yeah, I but it, it was uh, again that was a contractual thing that was supposed to stay with some money if uh, they bundled all the alarm systems together: the uh, yeah, highway, that, yeah. highway, sewer, town hall, fire station. They wanted to put them all together under one contract to save money. In the end. Do you know if that's complete? We have to talk to Mike. Mike yeah. was working on that. Well. I would assume that Mike made the request to move it under his department, so yeah. he, would, he would know best. But I would uh, make a motion to approve that moving of the line item from building maintenance or DPW, whichever it's under now, uh, to the 
fire, fire, public safety. Okay. I so, but I think we need to make sure that it's in here. <laughs> That's what I'm worried yeah. about. Is it? Did it disappear completely? Okay. It should. It shouldn't. Show. Do you guys on the finance committee have any, I should have asked you on the assessors and this, where <coughs> you guys are at after your meeting last night? Mm -hmm. uh, so we were in this, we felt the same way that we should table um, the assessors at this time um, until um, it could be looked at for everyone. Uh, the fire, we did look at, I, we felt like almost out of all of them, the admin, the 14,000, that was in his budget prior um, for many, many years. He gave it up um, last year trying to help out, you know, when we asked for, you know, to cut back. So he did give it up. I believe he's made adjustments within his own, um, within his own budget to try to accommodate that. So I almost felt like we, I would like to see that one go back to him because I didn't feel like it was new, adding on new. It was just giving him back what he had given up prior and that he felt that he really had a hard time going without. So um, I, did, I wasn't in favor of adding on new salaries, but I felt like that was something he's always had. So, um, we, we, did, we, we did have a lot of trouble because if we're gonna take something off this sheet, we have to take it out of somewhere else. Somewhere else? Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like it was on his building maintenance center in North. What, the 6,000? Yeah, it, it's been there. Yeah. Where do you oh, see yes. that, Kathy? I'm just it's on before. the fire department building maintenance center in North, about mm -hmm. 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, eight, right. eight. I'm sorry, 62. So it was taken out of his, but the question is, was it? It's been in. It's yeah, it's there. It was, it was there. Cut three there. was there. So was there three somewhere else, or how does that work? Six. What to DPW? Yeah, was there half and half? Maybe? But that's the thing. I don't see it in DPW. I didn't see it either. Was it under building maintenance? Oh. It's not, yeah, it might be under building maintenance. Yeah, I think all of them were under building maintenance. maintenance. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah that's where I was sure. looking. That's where it was added to. But I don't see anything specifically being added. There's like North Cadley Fire, Northwest 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 Fire, I think that's what it is, the extinguishers. Extinguishers, right. Senior center. The extinguisher line item should have went down over the past couple of years it too, did. I think, because it we did. we did the same thing with that that he wants to try to do with the alarm systems. The school, uh, the DPW, the sewer, everybody went under the same contract for the fire extinguishers, and they're all inspected now at the same time right. along with the fire department. And I don't know the exact number we say of doing that, but mm -hmm. it was it was a couple bucks. See, I'm just afraid that that six thousand, if we put it back into Mike's, yeah. which I think we should, but I'm I don't think there's anywhere to pull it. I don't think we're moving it. I think we're it's not anywhere right now. So that doesn't there match exactly from some other department. No. There was I don't think so. Mm -hmm. There was three, right? So we're only really asking for three. You could fund that out of free cash from the wallet. Right. Or maybe next year we're going to have new buildings. I just want to make sure that we're not leaving an extra three grand in somebody else's department and then using exactly. free cash for it in the fall instead. Mm -hmm. right. Is it for other buildings that we're getting? It shouldn't, I mean, it shouldn't be yet. Because alarm systems for fire? If they're up, are they going to no. have them? Even if they're not? They're, they're probably all in the design. Yeah, I would imagine not to. They're in the design, the same ones that are in all the buildings. They're all the same. Um, so this is just for center and north? Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. It doesn't mean it's not there, but if it's in it's there, it's buried and called something else. I think, you're, I think you're adding 6000 to the budget by putting that in there. Okay, I'm going to withdraw my motion then for now. <laughs> so why did it go up from the 3000 to the nine to the 9000 request? Do you know in fire? Yeah. yeah. It's under the building maintenance center in order, from 3 to 9. There's got to be a reason. Is it in fire or building maintenance? It's under fire. fire. It has to do with the alarm systems, I believe. I think. Right. right. But it could I, be out of 
right. and I thought it was somehow this consolidation was saving us money mm -hmm. right. on a town level is my understanding but I don't know if it's something mm -hmm. within you know if we have all these senior center interior maintenance town hall interior maintenance that's included in there somehow right I mean we could we could remove six thousand from the building maintenance budget yeah. So, so David, okay. when you took the six thousand I mean, out, what was your theory behind that? What were you when I uh, saw that number, I was looking at the history okay. of that line item, so I saw a tremendous increase with no explanation as to why it was there. Okay. And given that we had to trim the budget by six figures, I was it's taking it from anywhere I could. Sure. So I guess the question is, what exactly? What is the six thousand? And is it? negotiable maybe it's not yeah need it right I mean to uh, John's point we could quote unquote level fund building maintenance is 145 740 and we have the requested amount is 150 270 in that building maintenance line we could take take that difference is about you know slightly less than five thousand dollars and that could be the money we use for this yeah. System. Uh, and there's a lot of lines like that that just went up a, a, a hair, a hair, a percentage or whatever, a thousand dollars here, a thousand dollars there. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's a lot of money at the end of the, the budget. Mm -hmm. So that's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. remember, in building, building maintenance, there was a concern that the security for town hall had yeah. been taken into account. Was about I had, grand. Yeah, I had that's thought that the new system had security in it, but it's just fire. But they're capable of putting the security in it, so it shouldn't be that much more of a cost. Uh, maybe that maybe that six was the uh, installation of security for the town hall. That could have been. No, because no, no, there's, 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 there's no there's separate line on that. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's twelve fire monitor. Okay. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. So. Yeah. Rule of the five. Take five and put it in. No, yeah. the whole I mean, six. Hold the whole six. And, and looking at those numbers, it's, they don't necessarily match Line up. up. You know, there's shifting numbers. There's things in there that were in 2019 that are gone in 2020 and vice versa. So there would be some back and forth to figure that out. Okay. My only comment on the um, administrative salary is uh, this is not a public safety year. And uh, I'm going to say the same thing when it gets down to the DPW and those salary requests as well. That yeah. uh, you know that sh both those requests should probably wait until you know that department's cycle comes around. Uh, you know we're doing the HR for town hall because this is general government here. Um, so I just you know there's no real point in keeping that rotation if we're going to kind of jump the line, jump the order uh, on this. So, so. again, it's something that probably. Should have been Kevin's right. Well, what do you need? Frank? So I think it needs to go back where it was. Is yeah. that an agreement? What? What needs to? The six thousand needs to go back. That's the fire monitoring. David's yeah. now talking about the administrative support for okay. the fire chief. All right, so we'll, we'll take well, one at a time. Yeah, yeah let's, 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 okay. right, I'll make All a motion right. to move the six thousand or approve the six thousand dollar increase to the fire budget for fire monitoring. So. That's coming from 490. It's coming from, from building maintenance. Yes. Yes. Uh, that was a second. That was a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So now that administrative salary. There's 14864. That can wait. See what, what the sheets that's, say this summer and go from there. One request I had for that was to kind of see the, for lack of a better term, return on investment of that. I understand it'll help with the, the paperwork load, but uh, one of the things that we had asked at, at a previous meeting was would the fire department be able to process more permits or more inspections or something along those lines to kind of pay for itself and we don't have that information yet as far as an administrative assistant mm -hmm. so i would be all over it if it would pay for itself but yeah okay. so defer until september 
Is that a motion? Is that a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion to defer it till fall. Second. Although, well, any further discussion? Yeah, just, you know, one of the things I just want to be cautious about is, and I agree with this, the idea of the schedule of, you know, where we're looking to enhance services, like having that rotation. My only concern is that what I don't want to do is put ourselves in a, manage ourselves into a situation where we're asking people at a very high rate of pay to do tasks that would be far more cost effective for the town to have done at a sure. lower, admit, like an administrative rate of pay. Right. Um, and so, I mean, I look at the, I'm, I'm, at, I'm going to agree that we defer it. Mm -hmm. um, the, the reason I want to defer this one is to, to see a plan that says, okay, the individual is going to be doing the X, Y, and Z, and, you know. Pay for itself, and yeah. Because I honestly think that it will pay for itself and then some. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. but, but I just want to make that point. We want to be really careful, because if we perpetuate people at management level positions who are doing paperwork. data entry, paperwork, that's not the best, most effective right, talk about thing to do in the people. town. You're not going to keep them if they're doing that. Yeah, sure. Right. That's the other side of it. Yeah. Tim, you have a comment? Well, the, I think that's exactly what's happening, unfortunately, in the fire department. Remember, you had somebody in that position, and and reluctantly, the chief asked, well, he was trying to get other people in, so he forgo that person with the understanding that it's going to come back in. Right. I go over there a lot because we do um, inspections mm -hmm. together. That's one of the big problems that you're seeing right now is all the fire guys are doing a lot of data entry. And that is taking a lot of their time out. There are certain things that each one is prioritized and some of the stuff that even the chief does because the other guys have it. And I think that over time, like what I've tried to do is morph that over into that one person and get them um, be able to do what they should be doing. I might need somebody in that to do the the daily operations, and, and it is affecting his ability to do and get things on a timely manner done. And I see that uh, constantly. Yes. There is so much data entry in all these positions right now. The hope is that with the IT coming on board and reevaluating, we're going to be there. We're going to have things better. But in the meantime, I, I, it, it is hurting their productivity. Yeah, this was in the budget. What do you guys on uh, finance? Oh, wait, we, the reason, the only, I believe if it was brand new, we wouldn't be having as much of a discussion about it, but because it was in his budget before, he had used it. Um, he he tried to give up something. So I don't want to, if someone, if a department is working with us and trying mm -hmm. to help us save money and work with numbers and then it just doesn't work for them and they and they find it being a hardship and they ask for it back. I don't want to not have people try or try different things. I so want to encourage people saving money and trying, you know. He, he initially was the one that pulled it out so he could get he, the extra guy in a rotating shift mm -hmm. for the yeah, daytime 12-hour yeah. shift. Yeah. So, you know, he's he's unfortunately, he's just going to have to yeah. deal with it till maybe September till, till we can fund this. Yeah. We, we have real financial oh, problems absolutely. coming down the road here. Oh, no, I, like I agree not. with that. Big time. Yeah. Uh, can, can we look at, I know we have a motion on the table too, but... Um, can we look at pushing it off to the fall town meeting and possibly funding at 50? Well, there it is. There it is. We're <laughs> talking about you. Somebody watching from home. My ears are really loud. Did you run? We're drilling. We're drilled Well, one, so we already had a vote on the building fire monitoring, the $6,000 that we would pull that somehow out of building maintenance in general to fund this fire portion but is it somehow in, we weren't clear if it was already in the budget somewhere 
or well, is somewhere in some other line item in DPW or in building maintenance? Yes, so David, myself, and Chris met, and we felt that the fire alarm systems needed to be under public safety. So that's this is for monitoring and for the annual maintenance and service. So that $6,000 is the cost for the monitoring and the service. But whose budget is it in now? A little right. bit of it DPW was in DPW each of the, we combined it into one. So it was under senior center, it was under Town Hall under wastewater under DPW okay. so building library so it seems like yeah. seems like we probably did the right thing and <laughs> kind of pulling it out of building maintenance and putting it into there but we got to figure out those numbers so probably you and David might have to figure that and, out or David might have to and that. in the end you said you were going to save money with combining everything together under one contract correct yeah. the other that's, hope that's is to actually point. try and get it so that our dispatch is monitoring it rather than paying the monitoring fees it'll go directly to the center station. A lot of your communities are doing that. We have a 24-hour dispatcher. So basically, there'll be a panel and dispatch if a fire alarm goes off at, you know, at the senior center. Um, that Those numbers aren't included in that. The new senior center, the new library, those are not included in that. So that may be increased when they're built out because I don't know what but they are, systems are going they to They are going to be installed uh, <coughs> through the same company and the same service? Well, it, Eventually it went out to built. bid. I'm not sure who got the okay. contract, the award for it, but the hope is we... We did, um, as part of the bid, we did list what, you know, what we have in town. So we're hoping to keep it consistent. And thank you um, for clarifying that. And then um, now we are just discussing the admin salaries. There's a motion on the table to um, take that, remove that from the budget. And right now, uh, and we're talking about if there are any other ways we can fund that, whether it's in the fall, um, you know, the finance committee is for funding that now, and so we were just discussing that. Well, my problem is, is I took that money out of temporary wages and training. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I wasn't asking for new money. I actually found it in my budget to fund it. So I would prefer that that money would go back. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done this if it was, it's exactly. kind of like, uh, I feel like I'm getting stuck twice here. <laughs> okay. So, right. so that's, that's the concern. You took I have. ten out of part time and Correct. then you took five out of out of the training. Uh inspection station duty wages. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh that's training. It's training too, but they only have so much room for all right. So that's Ori like all the originally you took that salary out to hire the the other man for rotating shifts though, didn't you for the twelve hour shifts? What's that? Took what out? The the secretary out originally? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then it to was supposed to be that. a shared position, and then Lauren's been overwhelmed, right? Well, it was supposed to be reviewed in the fall to right. see if it could be put back in, and there wasn't the funding in the, in the, fall. In the fall at that yeah. point. So well, so we did try to have Lauren do some stuff, but it was impossible. Since it's coming out of the other line items, and the other line items are are funded, love funded, it looks like. All right. As far as the, yeah, so they're level funded, so then I, I don't have a problem with it then. I mean, as but, long but as we have to get it from somewhere right. because when it's so a David. Oh, he already pulled it out. He already course. pulled it. So yeah, you're right. It's not just it's your proposal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So David proposed that it be pulled out. So right now we would have to find that 14 yeah. elsewhere. Plus the phone before. Did the. Uh, Finance Committee have any ideas on that? Where to pull it from? Yeah. Well, there was a few things that I we talked about a little bit and it had to do with salaries. And we have other people asking for increases in salaries. I do see where salaries are going up in a few line items. I, there's a couple reasons why I don't think the sac Now, when David had um, put this together, they had requested increases um, many people requested increases there was several and they were it looked like they said no and it wasn't given and maybe just two percent shows as an increase for salary which seems okay it's just a two percent um, okay so that seems fair but others were given more of an increase in salary I felt like maybe we should have that straight across the board no just the two because there is a study going on at this point um, so with the study going on, we should maybe wait to that study is looked at with job description, with what the duties are. Maybe they need to be increased quite a bit. 
Also, we have things going from elected to appointed. That's another thing where it's mm -hmm. going to be going into contracts. So that's a whole other story. We also have, um, I think, like this, the uh, Council on Aging went up 37% mm -hmm. in, in that. Now, I, I know that they, we are looking to get some of it from here, from us, but they have other funding too. There's a whole list of different ways they have funding that's coming in and maybe they could pull it from one of those pockets. I'd rather see this more level funded and take from some of those items. And, and that's where I, I'd rather see it playing more fair across the board. I think, well, can I? Didn't we vote for that though to just give the COLA and hold off on any steps until the wage study was complete? So yeah. that, well yeah. then you can find some money in that. Mm -hmm. Can Thanks. I ask about the other, um, the, the other public safety, other portion of public safety? Let's see, who's not here to defend himself? Okay. <laughs> so, um, just looking at, so the police department budget um, as proposed, so with any adjustments David made, is up 8.6 percent. The fire department with that 14 in there is up 7.5 percent. So if we added the 14 back in, that would make it a little bit higher. But dispatch is up almost 10 percent. Um, I'm assuming that the wages are Contract. contractual, no, right? Contractual. But you know, it was a pretty good uptick in the overtime. That's I think that's that because, all they because had of one the that retired and then came back again. No, that's we have one out on that's one out on leave, yeah. but yeah. they'll, they'll be issue. leaving shortly. Mm -hmm. I believe. Okay. How, uh, just. Do you mind if I ask a question while you're looking at that, Molly, or are you? Uh, I'm done looking. You're I'm done looking. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, just, just a question on the fire extinguisher maintenance that went up pretty substantially. Is that something that's pulled from other building maintenance, or is that a completely new cost? That was done years ago. It was yeah. all pulled into into my budget. So all the departments, the schools, everybody, it's all yeah. under my budget. The problem is, is that we're at a six-year annual inspection, <laughs> and that increase in that amount is that's the cost to do the inspections on over 150 extinguishers. Okay, so, so it's the cost of inspections, not the cost of the extinguishers. Correct. Yeah. So it's a six-year inspection that we've come across now, mm -hmm. and for the next two years, we've, we've I've been trying to stagger it, but we got we had to literally get the first year that we combined everything, mm -hmm. we had over eight thousand dollars worth of extinguishers that were messed up. Okay. So we had a few years of it being really good, about twelve hundred dollars. So just the inspections, we're at a six year uh, annual, and then we also have hydro testing that comes off. And so those are the years where it's, you have a higher price. Okay. And the ones that fail are gonna cost to replace two or so. It's actually yeah. cheaper to buy them new than it is to do the hydro testing on some of them. And, on the smaller and, ones, yeah. 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 Mike, what about the um, computer hardware, the 9800? Is that something that's needed imminently? Yeah, that's um, actually, that's our emergency reporting software that's um, I think we have in for two computers, which isn't a high amount. It's uh, I think they're about 900 bucks a piece uh, because our little small slave computers we have are just slow as dirt and they're probably eight or nine years old now. Um, but yeah, that's all that's all part of software and... So it's not just hardware, just software in there. So. Our NF I think our NFPA um, so our fire prevention, um, National Fire Prevention Association, our annual memberships in there. There's there's a bunch of, of different programs under that. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything in here that we could hold off to the, the fall to help make room for the salaries. Just asking. I mean, it, it's up to you if, I mean, I, I don't want to say this because I know I'm going to shoot myself in the foot when the fall comes, mm -hmm. but you know we're we're struggling without an office person obviously um, I mean it would be great to do it but if we have to if we have to hold off on the fall if I could get an assurance that it's going to happen but well, no, we're just, actually trying to find a way to fund it by town meeting now yeah. but trying to find money elsewhere and maybe defer something else until the fall was the question that budget the budget you see that we put together is as bare bones as we can mm -hmm. I did put in for a step increase because there's a few of our firefighters that haven't received a step since they started, namely Nick McKenna. Nick McKenna hasn't received a step, so he has a two percent cola that we were, you know, that we were told to do. But well, we voted all the non-union personnel to get raises. 
mechanic. No, Why don't you take ten grand hard. out of the human resources person? We were talking about that. I thought we already took money out of here. No, you haven't. We have it funded for eighty. <laughs> <laughs> took no votes. <laughs> I would like to make a motion that we take ten thousand out of human resources. Here would we'll I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I honestly thought we talked about it already. Yeah. Um, to fund <laughs> well, to put ten, uh, it would be ten to put ten thousand dollars back into Mike's budget. It's not going to give him the full fourteen. I second that. Okay. Any other discussion? What do you guys think? No, we were eyeing that too. That was okay. So that was good. And, yeah, and, and, and we, we heard you're, you still have talking points about the step increases. I'm going to come back to that, but just for the time being for this one. Mm -hmm. For this this yeah. one in particular, mm -hmm. we want to do that. So uh, what about the other five? Well, well that's what you're like saying for now. We'll just put the 10 back in. And then because yeah. yeah. right. See what he can do with the 10. What else comes up here tonight? Yep. You're yeah. talking about the top line in that budget? Where are we at? The human resources. Oh, the the top line. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. What's the number? 155? Do you need to vote on that? Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. it's <laughs> yeah. going to go beyond yeah. it. Yeah. They're still discussing, okay. so. Mm -hmm. Are we, we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's, it's 10, not the full 14 right now. We'll get there. <laughs> just say thank you. Okay. I, I just wanted to make thank sure you, you, you heard that part. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Always pick up the Okay, the next person we get to beat up on is uh, inspections here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have on our list uh, pull all inspection services into one budget number, uh, increasing staff wages and hours, uh, the permitting coordinator, bring in, uh, oh, oh, this was a note that the total inspection uh, department brings in around $250,000 uh, in, in in fees, so that includes building permit fees, plumbing permit fees, gas permit fees, electri electrical permit fees, weights and measures, and then miscellaneous. Um, so the first item there, the pulling all the services into one budget number, it's not costing anything, right? We're just real. So move. Yeah. The only thing yeah. is, is the enter the electrical is an enterprise fund. Right. So a revolving yeah. fund, not an enterprise. So that would involve changing that in some fashion. Yeah, we'd have to take a vote on that, right? You don't have the money for that. You don't have the money. Dollars. You'd have to fund. You'd have to fund that by several tens of thousands of dollars, depending upon the year. So could we pull everything, with the exception of the electrical inspector, into one budget number, and yeah. then we can work on something for Fall Town meeting to move yeah. the electrical yeah. inspector? Or maybe look, yeah, just look into it further. I, I just want to understand, can you make, why, what is it that, what's the positives and what's the negatives? To combine the departments? Yeah. Yes. Look at me. Yeah. Yeah, do you wanna? <laughs> One of the problems that we've had in the past is, uh, what I'd like to do is combine everybody so our line items for travel, for tuition, is combined so if somebody goes up for one year we have the ability to use it from all the other inspectors and that's been problematic uh, for the last few years with plumbing for whatever reason they're they've gone through the certification requirement lately and now they've increased the number of certification classes so they're their tuitions have gone up dramatically and we've had a very difficult time. It's not in the budget. You got one light item, which is X amount of dollars, so if you go above it, where do you get it? Okay? Um, and my, my proposal was to put everybody together. So when those things happen, those little hiccups happen, we have the ability to um, use those light items for everybody. And I think it'll work out much, much better. Uh, right now, for instance, electrical, there is a required class that 
we're all going to attend next Monday. There's no way of paying for that requirement for the electrical inspectors. So, you know, Willie's been very kind on taking his certification classes um, without compensation. Uh, and that's not going to always be something we can afford to do. Um, we're trying to get Paul Miller up to speed, and he's the one that's going to go to this. And we have no actual way of funding that for him. But if we put it all under one, then we can go through the year and make sure and prioritize all this. That's the primary focus. Are, are the plumbing and the uh, electrical alternating years, or are they the same annual years? Every year. Every, they're every required year? to have okay. certification classes like Because I know like with the water and the wastewater, it's every other year, but they're both at the same time every other year, so. Yeah, well, ours, it's like me, I'm on a three-year schedule. I have to do so many hours in a three-year period. I'm required to do a very minimal amount per year yeah. with a requirement of three years. So I have that three years. I think they are on a two-year program where they have to complete X amount of hours. So basically the continuing ed is fluctuating in cost. That's the, yes. the issue. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. mm -hmm. And I know some organizations with the water and the wastewater is forty dollars for a class, and mm -hmm. other organizations are two hundred and forty dollars for for a class. Yes, you know, it's, it's it all depends on the organization and what what's what the presenter is getting paid for. It, probably, you know. Yeah. And just um, for the record, the looks like the total receipts are one hundred and forty-five thousand. Is what we have in the budget. One hundred and twenty-four. Building 20 for plumbing and 5 for electrical? I've taken what we bring in for last year, 2018, at, under the annual. And that's what we had last year, was slightly over 250000 for all fees. Okay, the year before was 278000 We're getting into the, the time of the year where we explode. Yeah. where we're going to see a significant increase. So if you're uh, you're looking at what, fiscal year or? Yeah, I, yeah, fiscal year, right. So, but, but uh, like going back, it was 212 I have for 18 is actual. I, I can only tell you what goes through that office with everything. Yep, just want to make sure I know where, where it's going here. There is one that doesn't show up in revenues and it's weights and measures, and, and I think that that goes through a fund and we pay That's that usually over. around 20000 okay. Yeah, we pay that over to Northampton, but the intake still happens right. here, but right. it's not a, yeah. a problem. And Linda, from a accounting and treasurer perspective, is there any drawback to combining all these into one line? No, I, actually, I actually think it's more realistic. I mean, a lot of the inspector's office provides the support, including the staff support for the other departments. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, they don't, they come in and they, they you know, you have one person who's taking in the, the revenue and doing the turnovers and, and processing the payroll or payments to, for all of the inspectors. And that, that person is funded exclusively out of the inspector's budget. So, I mean, it, realistically, it should be spread, the expenses should be spread over them. Mm -hmm. And having them under one roof is probably the easiest way to do it. I don't see it. Uh, Reason not to. Make a motion that we combine the right into one line item. Second. Any further discussion? Option to Yeah. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now the hard part is increasing uh, permitting coordinator wages. Um, and did I put, did you have a total dollar amount, Tim, that was around 6,000? I'm sorry, I don't have those figures in front of me right now. Um, I ran over here. The administrative 12, salaries were reduced 12, by $12,900. So that's a new title that we're giving her because she's doing much more. Okay. Well, 
there, we're changing people's titles and job duties and things like that, which are great. I don't, I'm not saying that she doesn't deserve what she, what she should be getting, but we're still in the middle of a compensation study. So I'm kind of thinking. Yes, we were hoping to have it before now. Before, that we would have it by now before we change all these job descriptions and titles and How far increase off is the pays. How far? Yeah, have it by the end of the month. <coughs> How far into the interviews are they? Oh, they finished the interviews uh, coming to meet with us next week. We need week. on Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday. So they've shown us uh, draft information, but we're going to go over that. Um, so it's moving along. So that could go one way or the other. It could support what Tim's trying to do, or it could also come back and say, you know, theoretically, no. But my guess is it's going to support what Tim suggests suggesting. So is this going to take her out of the duties that she has in other places besides just for the inspectors? My understanding yeah, was no, right? Yeah. She, her job function would still be the same. It's just an increase in wages. That's correct. We're, we're, uh, she's been at it such a low grade, far lower than, uh, than she should be, so we've increased her. She's still going to be working at a different position through now the Treasury. So she still has both, she'll still have two job titles. We're not technically right now increasing the hours. We're just increasing the hourly rate. And again, it was the hope that all this was done and it all fell into place. I, I'm desperately trying to keep her. And that's my problem right now. And, and I feel that since, I, you know, there is such a tremendous amount of money that we bring in and she is doing much much more than what we brought her in to do that but it's only that, fair at this point to try how does that pay wage increase from what your job duties are and extend over into the other areas that she works so is there a separation between that amount of increase or does that cover everything that she does between it covers everything uh, uh, in your is that in your budget, budget pay, yeah. also? I she have, I have your some, budget? for looking mm -hmm. at fiscal 20, I have some hours that would include, uh, well, there's a position there, but if she's able to take 10 hours, which would, which would involve adding five hours to what she's currently working, she's working 35 hours right now. Right. So if we have Joan moving over to the HR person, I'll be, look, I'll be wanting to get 10 hours, and if, this individual has it, that's fine, and if it doesn't, we'll need to make other plans. But part of that increase is not necessarily a wage. It's not an increase in, in the inspectors. So you're looking I'm to make her 40 hour, an hour, 40 an hour a week? If she has that many hours to give to the treasurer's office. I guess and we have to, we, we to need to settle inspector first, but it, and that's one way of. So the um, inspector right now has 35 hours out of her. Well, 25 and 10 is what Yeah, it's 25 have. and 10. 25 and 10. Right. She's 25, 5 and 5. Yeah. And she's doing an accounting role now, right? And would be right, and I don't know who's 5 and who's less than yeah. And that right. got cut, that line got cut entirely, so. Yeah. Which got cut? The, the accounting, accounting one. Account. Okay, the accounting one got cut, yes. Yeah, Sorry, yes. Account. Although for the rest of this year, it's still being paid out of accounting. We're, we're trying this out and it's going really well, honestly, as she's out, thanks to the data entry really well. So she's actually doing the five hours now, but if things change as of July 1, I'll be looking one in 10. So it looks like, did you request, was that under the clerical support line? Is that that it's line? It's probably going to be assistant. It's the assistant Sorry, treasurer under the line. assistant treasurer line, okay. Right, because Joan's taking that second, is moving over as the benefits coordinator under the HR position. So right okay. now, I'm just looking at that number because that, that would cover what we're talking. It's not cutting the hours. It's, it's weird. Right yeah. now, she's 20, technically under the books, not what she's actually working. It's 25 hours made 
five hours planning and five hours of counting. We know the planning and, and, and counting is going to be cut. She's been working now at the treasurer's, okay? And we're just trying to get the, the wages the, and the titles based on what she's actually doing, okay? No, I was just looking, so I was just looking, there's 21,897 in admin salaries under building inspector and 23,119 under assistant treasurer. Yeah, that's if it goes up to 20. I think we had some more hours in you had, That was more hours. Right. She I'm just wondering, wondering if, if we can keep hours. it to 10, then we're not looking for another uh, work workstation. So that's what we're trying to do, too, is not add in a new, new person, new benefits, new computer, new desk. We're trying to keep it, because right now, the five hours that she works for me, she's doing from her own computer in the inspector's office and covering any calls and walk-ins that come into that office. So it's virtually do, uh, double duty. It's not like she you know, stops at 2 o'clock and comes over for an hour. It's not like that. Yeah. So if when it all pans out, the hope is 10 hours for Linda. 30 hours, but at the 30 hours for me, mm -hmm. it all works. At the same rate, <laughs> which is how much per hour? 21, 20, 22, 19? Something. That was the new one, right? I'd have to go in. I'd have to, yeah. yeah. So it's right there, yeah, you're very, yeah. <laughs> So, how scientific is health insurance, Linda? How scientific is it? Mm -hmm. Health insurance line item. Oh, um. Mm -hmm. Based upon best estimates. We. Are we, are we under, 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 under? In other words, can we take it on that? It's tighter than it's been in past years, and it's not a place that you can go for it. If you're looking for money to take out of a budget for fiscal 20, I don't think we're. No, we're not. No, we can't. You're do not that. suggesting that at all. I am suggesting. Oh, I'm that's not a that. good suggestion. <laughs> it's, it's a 10 percent, 127,000 dollar increase. Yes. Did the finance committee talk about this at all, or? <coughs> at this? Well, now we have. We didn't know the hours. We didn't know. It was. I, I did, was it, we weren't familiar with the, um, the changing of the hours. Once again, we think everybody deserves to be lo looked at and deserves more money. We're not saying anybody. We, we feel that people definitely could use a raise, and, and we definitely would like to see people get something for merit. But with the wage study coming on, with an HR person coming on, <coughs> in my own opinion was. I didn't want to be the person. I'm not an HR person. I don't want to be involved with any of that stuff. I'd rather it be have someone from HR make sure everybody's getting equal share. I want would rather see everybody be getting the looked at about um, what their job duties are and, and deal with yeah. it at that point across the board. I just when when we I could see that let's use for example um, uh, the collector the clerk. They were putting in for increases and they weren't approved. But we did approve the treasurer and we are looking at possibly DD. And I just feel like sometimes it's not, doesn't seem fair. I, I had a bit of dissent with that. I, um, I agree that, you know, we're having trouble finding the funds and there are many people who are worthy. But my understanding about this particular position is that she has risen through her own effort and through her own studies to, um, so, so now it seemed to me like a question of fairness, you know, because she's, she's doing master's level work and getting paid bachelor's level wages is how I understand it. So I have, you know, I had a bit of a dissent with that. Emotions. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, yeah, we recommendation. well, we were we were a little bit split up because we, you know, we we definitely we, we all felt like everybody earned more money, but and this one's slightly different because mm -hmm. she's doing different things. Yeah, yeah, she's doing different the duties and responsibilities have to yeah. match. And, and I guess I'm just still wondering. You're just getting a raise. She's doing over and above right now. 
Right. She is. Of what she was hired Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Which you don't want to get in that. And I'm just wondering if that the funds we do have in the assistant treasurer, mm -hmm. assistant, oh no, I'm sorry, wait, maybe I have the wrong, the assistant treasurer line, yeah. I lost it, um, is enough to cover what we're talking about because that's already in the budget even if we have to move a little money from the assistant treasurer position to the the this role in inspections. So the, um, the idea was to create a, uh, a support position that could support multiple offices that needed to support. I know that Joan is going to be moving into, uh, she may not change her seat, but she's going to be moving into human resources. Different um, hat. Different hat, same seat. Uh, later on, it might be a different seat even. Uh, Dee isn't needed by the accountant, um, so she can be the assistant treasurer to support the work that you're doing, particularly when you're going to take a vacation or something like that. Um, so I, we're not in a situation where you can take from the treasurer and give to the building inspector. Expect that that system to work very well. Well, can You're I have to come up with the, the additional money? It, and uh, you know, I, I hate to go here, but we have building inspection receipts at one hundred and twenty thousand. Now that's a budgeted increase of ten thousand dollars over. 2019 projected that we have in here is 110 just for building inspections are you going to come in above that this year this fiscal year should right we got some significant things coming in I can never project it that well but um, we do have some significant projects right and, uh, but I'm just looking we're talking thirteen thousand dollars for what you have proposed and it looks like you know the plumbing and gas ran higher in prior years as well. If we increase Tim's budget to 130 and then um, the plumbing and gas by three, would that give you heartburn? Yeah, based upon <laughs> the t based upon the performance of the, the building inspection and revenue stream for nine months of this current fiscal year, uh, you going to hit that target very easily. You're going to receive that target. Right, but it's always projecting out what's yeah. coming next year. But there are a fair number of building projects coming in next year as well, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we haven't had a slowdown in planning board meetings. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, so is it reasonable to find, again, there's a philosophical issue, but I mean, just from the nuts and bolts, if we added mm -hmm. 13 to the revenue? So bump the projection in order to pay for the yeah. increase. Because it seems pretty yeah that is pretty far conservative off. yeah yeah you know and the more inspections the building inspectors doing the more inspections the gas inspectors doing the electrical inspectors doing the plumbing inspectors doing they're 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 all tied together mm -hmm. and you know these these other guys are working for pennies an hour and we need to fund them somehow is there a motion is there a motion? Do we do it? Um, I'll, I'll make that motion. But I'll second it. How much is left in HR? <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, shrinking by the moment. So oh, yeah, we'll be down yeah. to zero by the end of the night. So this is <laughs> increasing building inspections targeted revenue from 120 to 130, and then plumbing from 20 to 23 and change to make that work. Okay, all those in favor or any further discussion? Does that sound good to you guys? Mm -hmm. uh, any further discussion? Tim's looks like he's. Remember, here, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to bring electrical into it because every year he's been significantly increasing. So, I mean, if he was in the budget, that, that plays a significant role when you see those numbers because that's kind of taken out mm -hmm. of the mix the amount of money he's bringing in because it's totally separate and that's been the problem here uh, 
I think that you have to look at the overall significance of everything. Yeah, but I think so. We're taking a step in that direction. Yes. By, yeah. Right. And we're, I think we're, we're trying get to get there. there. We just can't do yeah, it. Yeah, we're taking it yeah. step by step, and it's great. I'm glad you guys are trying to work with us because I think it's going to, in the long run, it's going to be extremely helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you so much. Okay, uh, DPW. <coughs> there was a request for an additional 12500 for a security system in Town Hall, uh, $3,000 for vehicle maintenance and repairs, an additional $5,000 for building maintenance and water, adding a DPW foreman paid by three departments. We've kind of discussed that one mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. at length. Mm -hmm. uh, make chief operator non-union personnel and hire a, hire a skilled laborer for cemetery which we've also talked about um, that last meeting where we voted to contract out that work okay. for this year what's the vehicle maintenance and repairs three thousand and five thousand for sewer and water yeah, let's my understanding is that increase is for uh, since we had a bunch of new vehicles a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. they're projecting that the maintenance repairs will start to increase as they age. So that's where the increase is coming from. Can that be deferred until the fall along with the security system? How, how I mean, we should have had a security system a long time ago, but I mean, yeah, I think, can we hold off till the fall? I think the security system is more important than the. Yeah, I agree. And, and the vehicles still fall anyway. I didn't ask Chris this, but I mean the vehicles are relatively new where, you know, other than the routine stuff, there still should be warranties on these. They're, you know, less than three years old and I doubt there's, you know, say thirty six thousand miles on them just driving around town. So uh some of them are already out of warranty. But they are still doing routine maintenance on them, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But, but the problem is the salt, we went to straight salt now, so straight salt is raising havoc with the brake systems, with the, the, the other truck, the wheels locked up and they drove it back, they thought they were going to make it back and obviously they didn't. Well, they made it back, but it was quite hot. Yeah, so looks, that, like, looks like those money were taken out of both sewer and water, 3,000 in sewer and 5,000 in water for those vehicle repairs. So yeah. the, it's not the highway division vehicles, it's the vehicles for those two enterprise funds. Yeah, I, I would, right, I'll make a motion as far as the vehicle maintenance increases to uh, deny that or defer it because um, I, we keep taking from the enterprise funds for things like this that I don't think should be, yeah. be taken from. I agree. No, I'll second that. You want my comment? No. I know, <laughs> your, I know your comment. <laughs> Any other discussion? Finance? You stole enough from no, the I water and that. sewer. Okay. What are you going to do? Raise the rates okay. again? All those in favor? I know. I've seen it on the agenda. It's off today. Oh, it is. So then the security system, can that wait until the That's fall? a capital item. It's a building capital item. Right, it's so not the capital plan, so, I mean capital budget, so. Right. Move so that to the fall and put it in capital. Yeah, put it in capital. Do you so want to take a vote on that, or? I'll make a motion to move the security system to the fall. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You were too. Mm -hmm. You guys good? <laughs> uh, we got that. And those, I guess the only one we haven't talked about is the chief operator non-union more management, but that should actually come up in negotiation. Yeah. That should come up in negotiation, <laughs> so here. that shouldn't be really in the budget right can, now. Can we just confirm where we are on those last three items? Because I think there was some confusion last time as far as the public, as far as where our votes fell. Just uh, that was subject. The, to oh, okay, right. right. So all of subject those. to funding, and there's no funding, so right. it's pretty simple. So we approved the or <coughs> reorganization, but there is no funding for the foreman, the uh, skilled, skilled labor. labor. Right. Okay. But but I think if we were making a commitment that we'd, we'll we would address it as soon as when the DPW came up as far as the right. mm -hmm. and we we said too that we would look at funding the DPW foreman fifty percent you know in the fall right okay. for half a year yeah. for half a year right. so that's everything mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. 
Council on Aging, that was just a note about next year looking to increase their budget next year. Mm -hmm. uh, Board of Health, the same thing. They would like to look at increasing their overall budget and made a request to come to one of our meetings to um, find a path to get to that increased budget. Uh, um, in what kind of revenue were they calling in? We were we get about 45000 per year. But I know there's concern about who was doing, you know, the inspections and who's doing that and all that kind of thing. Can we talk about council on aging first? Just yeah, do you want to you want to touch touch base on that? Just sure. that. What what was that five thousand for? That was administrative. It was. Yeah. Yes. So they're going to be running out of funding for the uh, contributions from the friends of council on aging, so they're looking for the time to. To assume that uh, so they were funded oh, it was, yeah, yeah. Kim was community outreach coordinator yeah. it's funded by the friends on the council on aging now with that transitioning mm -hmm. um, I would go back to the same line of when human services and those other departments come up in the rotation um, you know we've got Quite a bit of things changing over there with the new senior center. So I mean, and this is 2021. Is it 2021 budget too. Yeah. Not this one. No, yeah. I, I understand. Not until next year. Or yeah. Yeah. Well, we did increase this one this year by 37 percent. And where did that go to? Oh. That went to on the council on aging on coordinator um, for the coordinator. Yeah. And again, that's part of that funding that we talked about a couple of years ago with council, Friends of Council and Aging would be supporting that position and understanding that by a certain year that the town will be uh, taking over that. So that's what that budget, that increase would represent. So we had an agreement to take it over? Because normally I would say that they have other, two other funding and let's, you know, maybe we should put that off. Okay. It's just any discussion on the board of health? Is that good? Wait, do they come in? Yeah. Okay. We just went back on that. So. Uh, I mean, they're they're not asking for any. No, they're not asking for any level right now. Yep. So that's just for the future. Right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, Park and Rec. They had asked for an administrative salary, uh, and that was a sixty-nine hundred dollars that was not funded. That was a new position. That was for a new position. They used to have an administrator, and then we cut that several years ago. And what's the uh, Hadley Kids that they're doing? The after school. The after school program is yeah, that so going to have an increase in funding? Yeah, so they're trying to transfer the, the balance of the funds from Hadley Kids Incorporated to the town of Hadley. Uh, Do the, we need to go through legislation for that? Or? I don't think we need to go through legislation, but we need to get um, town meeting. We, we need town meeting to approve that, and we're not ready for prime time on that. That would be an infusion of about $100,000, so we're going to try to get that in the fall. And they're a, how the kids is a revenue generating mm -hmm. operation. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what I was wondering. They're so supporting. Like with Molly, with the inspection services, we could project more revenue. Right. Mm -hmm. Can we do anything with that with Park and Rec to give them some administrative support if there's going to be some new funds coming in from the after school program? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, to further defer that. Yeah, defer. Mm -hmm. Make a motion to defer that to the public. Second. Any other discussion on that? Finance, I guess. No, we didn't have any place to take it from, so we agreed. <laughs> okay. Anything else? All, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, historical Commission wanted 10K for historical markers, but we talked about doing that at Capitol in the fall. Our CPA. Yeah, or CPA. Or CPA. Yeah, I think it should all be CPA rather than capital for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and again, I know, you know, we've done, Amy, you brought it up the last meeting that there's a practice 
business practice that our CPA committee has employed, but it's not grounded in law, from what I understand. It's just a practice. So maybe we could um, okay, cut the fire department. <laughs> no, you can shut the door when you leave. We try. But, you know, I'd like to have the CPA committee come in for another discussion about that and just try to understand where that's coming from. Yeah. You know? What are yeah. you referring to, if I may? Um, we've been told honest. that the CPA committee has a practice of um, a strong preference not to fund a particular project unless somebody else has skin in the game. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and Andrew, uh, or Andy Morris Friedman has articulated that, and then Amy reminded us of that the other week, but by, by law, that's not a CPA mass general law requirement. Yeah. It's a, but it's a practice that the CPA committee in Hadley is employed. And sometimes it makes more sense than other times. You know, like if people have access to other funding, whether it's private funding or, or whatever, that can help stretch the CPA dollars, but then there are other times where the asks are relatively small and it doesn't necessarily seem to have any logic behind it, then why couldn't CPA fully fund the project? And there's no funds available for it. Yeah. No, I understand. I'm on the committee. Yeah, I know. And, yeah. So, yeah. and it's not, it's not set in stone that we do that, mm -hmm. um, but it, it, we try, mm -hmm. if somebody has funding, we mm -hmm. try to get it out of them, mm -hmm. and if they don't, then we're not going to throw them to the curb. Yeah, there was necessarily. I think they wanted like fifty thousand, something along those lines, for the historical markers, and there was some hesitancy to even approach the CPA committee without funding to start with. And we had said, "Well, why not ask?" Right. right. I, agree. I agree with that. At you. last meeting, we spoke about the uh, town markers at the town lines at the Coolidge Bridge and at the Amherst line, and they want the state wants to fund a portion of it, I believe. I think so. And we needed to. The, no, they're the centennial marker yeah. they're moving. Okay, those, those mm -hmm. two they're moving, yeah. but the, the other uh, markers, the historical, wanted to get them done, and we're looking for $10,000, I believe. Yeah, 10000 Funding for that. Just to start it, though. Just to start it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you guys had discussed? So, and anything else on the historical? I mean, oh, historical. Okay. For, for the markers? Yeah. So for, we haven't talked about that. Not, 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 not these particular markers that they're talking about. The the which which markers are you talking about, John? The ones that the, the ones that they they just are requesting here. That yeah. didn't come before us yet. Oh, they, okay. they never submitted that, okay. as far as I know. Yeah. Yeah, so I would okay. make a motion to um, I guess deny the ten thousand or yeah, defer the ten thousand and yeah, go to CPA. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Hopefully CPA can fund it and we can get them done. <coughs> All right, and then the last thing I have on my list here is uh, Hadley Media. And right now under Hadley Media, we have uh, a professional consulting service as opposed to a full-time personnel. Um, and I think we should seriously review this because, uh, you know, our, the director there is could very easily be viewed as a full-time employee in the eyes of the IRS. And, um, you know, we should consider making that position full-time as opposed to a consultant. So I'd like to recommend that we have this discussion, but that we defer any action on it until a later point in time. I think we can go into this budget cycle without creating a, a salaried position that we should wait for the outcome of this mm -hmm. study that's being done. Um, it it's gray. It's not black and white. Oh yeah. So because it's gray and not black and white, um, and it wraps into all the administrative chargebacks and everything, um, I'd like to have just a one-time focused discussion on it and not deal with it for this budget cycle. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Anything on finance from there? And, you know, we felt like we wanted to more like s stay out of it a little bit because it felt like more of a legal 
type of situation mm -hmm. if it needs to go in to be I mean obviously you could save money on benefits if they're if it's not an employee but it's not worth it if it's uh, brings up a, a, a legal issue so right. yeah whatever and it works <laughs> we felt like we yes. so we and it has away. and a lot of it has to do with um, how how the con the contract um, is being administered so yeah. it, so that's why I say it's it's gray and it's not black and white you know mm -hmm. and if you look at the stipulations for what would create a clear Department of Labor that that individuals and employ we have some control over that and then I think people are getting a better understanding on that so initially uh, Richard was an employee of the town he was mm -hmm. that's right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there, there was a, a lot of financial responsibilities for the town at that point but I, mm -hmm. we never compared what the actual numbers were so I think we need to look at that mm -hmm. right down to any so we know whether uh, an employee but to really uh, is financially sound for the town or well, and a contractor a is financially sound. There's a whole issue about the future of having yeah. media as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I so know. that's I why know. I think we should have a really focused discussion on having media. <laughs> but to Molly's point. And I had asked that. John when he was here, you know, if, if we could look into uh, Northampton Cable or Amherst Cable, mm -hmm. if there was a merger regionalization of, of cable TV somewhere down the road. I think they both have Comcast. I think Hamden's Comcast and those so in Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. But to Molly's point, uh, you know, it's it's not that hard to legally make someone a 1099 employee as long as you manage those employees the correct way, yeah. or, or I should say, the hands-off way that you manage those employees and allow them to do their jobs. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That concludes our budget discussion, as far as I can tell. And how about the thirty-eight thousand that we are a little bit looking negative from the charity sheet? Yes, so we're I ran the numbers, and we're about twenty-four-four. Oh, you're going down. Yeah, mm -hmm. going up, so. <laughs> Keep another day. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that we can, we can adjust on. within the local receipts to effectively balance that. So. Okay. So, so you feel like there's more in the revenues? Yeah. Gonna... <laughs> Particularly in some of the heavy hitting accounts, the motor vehicle excise, the meals tax, uh, the uh, room occupancy, and uh, some of the other larger uh, revenue streams. I think we're performing above expectations for FY19 in and all of those categories. So such as meals tax, did we ever get anywhere with the UMass? Um, yeah, we got paying. an answer. Yeah, they're paying. <laughs> not they're paying? Want it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and UMass is no, still uh, donating their stipends that we agreed on. The, That's the, right. The right. police department got their second uh, arrow right. board, mm -hmm. uh, speed limit board. Uh, a few other things? Yeah, no. Um, I think what else? Mm -hmm. right. But, oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. Here, thanks. Or the defibrillators, right? Oh, yeah. defibrillators, that's what we're talking about. So I'm prepared to look at this as a balanced budget at this point, um, based upon the recommended changes that we've discussed uh, for the last hour. Uh, is the Finance Committee or Select Board willing to make a recommendation for the two budget uh, articles? Uh, General fund and the enterprise fund. Enterprise fund is balanced with no further adjustments. And based upon the information that we just uh, discussed, the general fund is balanced going into annual time meeting. So article date nine. Date and nine. So Second. Okay, any further discussion? Eight and nine. nine. I had questions yeah. on nine. Article nine. Okay. The enterprise ones. I wanted you to just because I've never. I had. I didn't know why we. And you just needed to look at that again. Why are we giving ten thousand to each fund from? Can you just explain that? 
I'm not sure what we're talking about. Is this the reserve fund trip? Yeah, you're putting ten thousand in each one. Yeah. Okay. From so the um, the financial review by the Department of Revenue several years ago said that um, we should create a couple of different kinds of reserves within the uh, enterprise funds yeah. to act just as the reserve fund within the general fund does right. for unexpected uh, uh, and uh, unforeseen circumstances that may arise. So this these reserves fund, there's 10,000 in water, 10,000 in, um, in wastewater, and it says 10,000 in, um, in Hadley Media, but it's actually more like uh, 8,000, 4,000. It's 4,000. 4,000. 4,800 something. Yeah, so I'll make that change to the, uh, the draft warrant, uh, reflect that new number. But that's where you would go in case you had something go wrong in water sewer and Hadley Media, rather than the reserve fund, which is for the general fund. Okay. If that money is not spent, it remains within the enterprise fund. It gets rolled back into their. Business. So, are we going to be funding it every year? We've been funding mm -hmm. it for many years. Yeah, we've been, been funding it, whether we used years. it or not. Right. It went back into the enterprise fund. Yes. It, yeah, they it never, on. it never went back into. Never went general, to the general. Fund. No. When do we stop? We don't. So it's just a separate reserve fund? It's a separate reserve fund, reserve fund mm -hmm. because we have problems mm -hmm. mixing between general. Okay, so let's, so let's take an example, <laughs> a real life example. You have a, a sewer line. It's all very collapse. normal, Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just don't remember seeing this on a warrant before. We never had this. That's a new it. format, but it's always it's been always there. It's always been there. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, okay. not always, but it's been there like it, most of the time that I can remember. I, it's just a different format. Okay. It I it's just like the, the $10,000 that we took out of the enterprise fund for the filters which is now 20, 25, 26. 25 26 okay. that's okay. just specifically for because we're anticipating that that problem mm -hmm. so it, it's there so we don't have to go to town meeting to get that money again okay David? Yeah. Yeah. I, i've always thought of it as the same as the fifty thousand that the finance committee has for the rest yes. of the town sure. which funds the general yeah. budget yeah, because, sure. but you can't mm -hmm. fund something out of the uh your reserve fund for the enterprise fund, so they have their own little reservoirs and to go sure. to during the year if they need it. And exactly. they can't spend it unless you approve it. So the finance committee is definitely in the driver's seat on this one. Mm -hmm. So I think I heard a motion on eight and nine. Yeah, a motion to recommend eight and nine. Does the uh, finance committee need to vote first, or did you vote on these? We did not vote. They did not vote. Mm -hmm. um, is there a preference or on order, or do you mind if we vote on it first? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> a motion to rec uh, I did yeah, recommend eight nine. I did. You did that. But it's second. 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 Okay. Either way. All right. Any other discussion? <laughs> okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 In the finance okay. committee, do you have a uh, recommendation on the budget? Do you want to do that now? Yes, please, because I'm okay. posting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we have a motion. Any motion? Second. Make a motion to approve, um, as we've talked about, 89. No second. Yeah. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. <coughs> can, I ask, can I ask some questions? Sure, yeah. So how did you guys think this went this year as far as kind of conferencing this out? Is, did this work any better this year, any worse than as yeah, far as talking about the budget the same? I think that it just didn't work out as well for us. Okay. That next year we really would prefer having um, more of, just because we're in the middle of your select board meeting. We're in the yeah. middle of dealing with public comment. We're in the middle of dealing with polls. You know, we don't need to, so. And we were here last night till 9.30. So I at think. At our own meeting, right? <laughs> I think if we could, t you know, um, the year before worked very well where you said if um, you take all the departments and talk to them and if there's something that comes up, bring it to us and let us know and we'll all discuss it. And so it would be these line items, right? And each, each person like the fire would have their time to discuss it with both. But if it was an easy, you know, flat um, budget, and there wasn't anything really to discuss, then we would just take that on ourselves here. Okay. 
I think that went better for us um, where we could have a smaller group of us and we would sit at the table and let that person come right up to the table and just be just us and really talk it out um, I, I felt like that was a little bit more personal and, yeah. and we for the department heads. and we didn't have to go through all the other departments or hear all the other stuff from the select board so just a stop a little bit more questions yeah. last That's night even though we were here until 9 30. Mm -hmm. a lot we just didn't know because the, yeah they just weren't right here and right so there was a lot of double going through things and the mess yeah. exactly we just tried it this year like i said before sure. just we thought maybe it would save you people a little bit of time and, and our board a little bit of time but yeah no, I, I think it doubled our time yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Quite understandably uh, <laughs> something new for next year and so for <laughs> us as a board next year would we want to meet with each department like we did or I think we can go have with a their next year. Yeah, we can do that. Budget. Yeah, we can like do that. Fall. Come on, why don't we talk about that now? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, it's coming in the fall. We'll be at my fall so meeting sooner than yeah, you think. Like David. 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 Do, does the finance committee have a uh, recommendation having to do number ten to capital article? Oh, hi. To talk about number ten, if if we could, David, I would like to see you separate this a little bit in number ten when talking to the um, bringing it to the town and and um, Christian you might be able to go ahead yeah um, on some of this um, go with me like select board the six thousand five hundred and fifty that item the item for town clerk the seven thousand uh, the ten thousand five hundred there's a few of these in here right and that we decided on the capital planning that we thought these smaller items can be put in as borrowed items but they would be within the levy so it wasn't going to really change anything yeah. so I wanted to point that out that that wasn't going to be a big deal now some of these other items are a big deal they're a very big deal and it's going to it would be debt exclusion and it would be raising our taxes yes. and I wanted to separate those yes. to show that they should yeah. be it's individually and they should state debt so, exclusion on so we're talking about motion 10 e as an Edward, where I combine the skid steer hot box and mini excavator together, you want to see those as separate? Yeah, I mean, and people might even want to talk about some of these separate. I mean, they might like the, um, they might want to talk about the ditches in one spot, but then maybe feel like, oh, well, we already did a mini excavator one time. Maybe we don't want to do that this time. Maybe that should go to capital. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. Oh, yeah, and so, so we. So you want me to split them? That's what you're saying. Yeah, I, I mean, just make it sh known in, in the, in the meeting that, the smaller I items are going to be going. They're not going to affect our taxes where the bigger ones are. So yes, we just split those. Yeah. Right. So. I think it would be easier for people to understand at least where you can tell them that yeah, these yeah. items are going to increase your yeah. taxes, these are not. Because yeah. people don't know what yeah. the exclusions are. Exactly. Right. So. I'm happy to do that. Do you have a recommendation? If yeah. I do that, when I do that, do you have a recommendation? <laughs> no. um, well, things like uh, cleaning the ditches, oh. is that a, really a capital item or is it maintenance? That's maintenance. No, it's a, it's a definite it seems item. like <coughs> some of the things are acquiring capital assets and others are maintenance. Right. right. Like cleaning the well. Right. Clean, so but cleaning, uh, the, the repair to ditches is borrowing. The cleaning of the wells, as you stated, is water reserves. So that's going to have no effect on taxes. The 100000 is going to. The uh, sewer impact fees are not going to affect the tax rate because they're coming out of, of funding already. So they those won't need uh, debt exclusions. All the borrowing ones will, correct? Right. But I think you're asking what's right. the difference between a repair right. item and a right. capital item. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so it's the, extending the, the, the bylaw that defines capital items includes anything involving a property. So mm -hmm. it includes maintenance of property. It includes anything having to do with property. Well, so okay. That's, that's, that's what I So what is okay. your recommendation on number ten? On number ten, how does how to separate it? Okay. Uh, no, I got the separation oh. part. It's whether you afford or get it. 
Oh, whether we're for or against we'll it. I see. <laughs> I see. When it's written well, properly, see, you said. Yeah, when it's written properly. <laughs> and I wanted to point out something. So, uh, and this is how I voted for in capital. I am for the smaller items that are within the levy. I am against even at all the the bigger items because I was hoping those could go to the fall. If they don't go to the fall, then we have to do a new, um, and they do get approved at town meeting, then we're going to have to have uh, spend at least 2000 or more for oh, an vote. election, yeah. I mean, to for voting. Yeah. And so I would have liked to have seen these items go with the capital, mm -hmm. all the other capital, and maybe we do have some money that they're in the... Um, uh, DPW for like ditches and things like not what they need mm -hmm. but some to get started now they got a brand new backhoe they should be utilizing it so we were wondering they can. if it was a spring thing like how is yeah. the timing well, specific or something as as possible yeah part, part so of it is they can't do flooding. they can't In do the some winter. winter so 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 my recommendation was I was school I would um, I would if I'm gonna make a motion to approve I would mo take a motion to approve the smaller line items which is the select board dpw for six thousand for computers the town clerk and the select board the furniture i would recommend to approve those and and keep going keep, yeah, keep going All are right. you guys going to take a vote yeah, yeah. is it my taking a vote yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah. i make a motion yeah. so hear, hear the motion yeah, yeah. So what about the, uh, the the computers for DPW? I would I would make a motion to approve those. Okay, and the mm -hmm. second truck. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm confused. But I yeah, thought we yeah. had no money for any of this. Like even though it's within the levy, isn't that money within the levy already allocated to other this things? Is this is borrowing within the levy. Oh, yes. borrowing within. Borrowing. Yes. So, so this is borrowing. it's. Yeah. Everyone that <laughs> everyone that says borrow is yeah. right. And, and okay. some of them say it's tax confusing because if you're just looking at the oh, yeah. table, it says borrow, right. but not necessarily the borrow within the levy or debt sewer. exclusion. Okay. Cleaning well. So, so yes. I yeah. yeah. So that's what he's asking. Okay. So, so the truck approve. Yes, because that's coming out of the so the DPW that is the forty thousand. The cleaning of the well for water, I would make a, a motion to approve because it's coming out of water. The truck for 40000 for sewer, make a motion to approve because it's coming out of sewer. Mm -hmm. That's their stuff and it's coming out of their own funds. And what's your stance on the borrowing for ditches, skids, your hot box? But, but I don't mean to interrupt, but are you guys all of it? Do you want to? Like, do you so want to She's wait? making a motion. One of us has to second it. Second it, and you guys and have to vote. Yeah, yeah. We do I'm or we don't. I'm trying to come to a unified position for the finance committee. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. It can be. Right. The, the oh, yeah, but it, what if we just put a vote? Are we going to put a vote down for them as like well, we four zero? It. But for the finance committee. Well, we're going to so put it down right here. Okay, I'm just confused because we're. It seems like there's some discrepancy. So, so the recommendation doesn't have to be recommend for or against. It can be we recommend these items and we don't recommend these other items. And I'm trying to clarify. Okay, but it's just Amy saying that she recommends it, not the whole finance. Yeah, and that's a yeah. Okay, and then the vote. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you want one? Oh, you can continue on. You want all the borrowing ones individually, is what you want. Yeah. So I would, I would this time. I would make a motion to approve everything on here except for at this time. The uh, let's see, the sixty-five thousand for the building improvements, <coughs> the building maintenance for one hundred and twenty-five thousand, the on-call consult. Oh, here, oh, here. this one, this one. Wrong wrong sorry. Page. Page. Right Sorry, here. I was on the wrong one. Yeah, oh, that's Skid the old copy. Mini excavator. That's the old one. Skid steer, hot box, mini excavator. You're in the yes. hot box, Amy. I am in the hot box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, a motion to approve everything but yes. the cleaning and repair of the ditches, the skid steer, the hot box unit, and the mini excavator. Okay. So everything but the debt exclusion. Basically. All right. So right. is, yes. there, is there a second? Second. Debt exclusion. 
is their discussion. But borrow with him, I'll have either. Yeah, we yes, discussed it last night. Any more discussion? No? All, 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 in, all in favor? Aye. 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 Not what it kind of out of your pocket. Not what we. All of us. All of us. Four. Four. Okay. Thank you. So, do you want us to? Did you want to make a motion on, on these? I don't know if uh, that's my feeling. I, we did not. We had questions and we did not so, make decide on if you wanted to. So, approve. for the clarity yes. of the record, I'm writing down the recommendation from the finance committee that will read something like the finance okay. committee recommends. Uh, the capital plan as presented with the exception of the four items for DBW, the ditches, the hot box, the skid steer, and the mini excavator. And that would be a vote of uh, four zero zero. Is that back? I didn't hear what he said. You didn't hear what he said? No. We're approving all of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just reading. And he's oh, just making oh, sure okay. it's okay. Okay, you're, you're fine with it. Okay, we're good. Good, all right. All right. Thank you. It's going to be a fun one to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might want to break them up a little bit. Did you just so, put your hands yeah. up nope. for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Thank need you to go to that. Okay. Okay. Almost done, folks. Almost okay. done. I know we won't. What, what else are we missing, David, okay. for your tallies? So the Finance Committee needs recommendations on the additional money for the two land articles. Uh, uh, so that's 150000 yeah. for the Shala property. Yeah. That's not CPA. Great. And Randy's here, so if you have questions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Article what? 15? 15 yes. 15 is on page 16 if you have yeah, a recent I copy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a new copy there to me. I got so many copies. Yeah. 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 Transfer of development rights. There's no impact upon taxes. It's $350,000 combined, those two articles. There's no recommendation from the Finance Committee on, this, on the 150 uh, TDR and Conservation Land Fund. Um, some of the questions, Randy, they, someone asked me, uh, but I didn't know when I was having trouble finding the acres. Uh, how many acres? Oh, uh, it's 180 ish. Okay. For Shallows land? Yeah. yeah. Shallows. Uh, Road. 180 acres? Yeah. Something like that. Between 180 and 200. I can't remember exactly. Land? No. No, there's a lot of good farmland out there. Mm -hmm. How much is uh, Nabalas, do you know? <laughs> that is 60 something, I think. <laughs> that hasn't been surveyed yet that I'm aware of. Shalos has. I think that was a little, some of the only questions you had for me. Uh, can, can someone restate this simply, a simplified version? I really don't understand what's going on. So there's uh, the Shalos properties in the north end of town, which is identified in the master plan as a target, preferred target area for. APR is agricultural protection restrictions, which is a permanent restriction on the use of land, can only be used for agriculture, can't be allowed to go fallow, can't be built up on, uh, only for agriculture. Isn't going fallow part about agriculture? No, that's not allowed under the law. 60 something. I mean, it can go fallow for a season, but it can't, you can't get yeah. uh, secondary uh, trees, tree growth on it. And so why doesn't this impact our budget? It doesn't impact the budget because the CPA is a set of pool of money on one side, TDR is another pool of money on another side, Conservation Land Fund is another pool of, there's no tax money really involved here, except for the portion that's contributed by the residents for CPA. 
my understanding is these articles, the TDR fund is basically drained after this these is. articles. Yeah, there'll be 60 Two. cents left. Where do they get funded from? Where does the money come from? Projects that go through the planning board. Okay. Uh, they, no, uh, the projects, if they don't have enough yeah. land. So why, why, um, why would the finance committee care about this? I mean, why wouldn't it be more of a select mm -hmm. board? Thing. Well, you're still using taxpayer dollars for the CCA funds. Yeah. You, oh. could, you could choose not to make a recommendation, but because it's a financial article, it's certainly within your sort of purview to, to make a recommendation. You will be asked by town meeting one way or the other, anyways. I will be at the meeting. You have a recommendation. Just because you'll be away. <laughs> I would recommend um, to approve the article as written. A second. Any other discussion? No. no. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And how about the other one? The new 16. Column, 20,773. This is all coming out of TBR. I make a motion to accept Article 17. Follow it. Reservation. Aye. 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 Thank you. And the last one for finance committee is at fifteen hundred and seventeen dollars again for the Lake Corner mm -hmm. Trail. That was which motion is it? Oh, I see it. Twenty. Twenty. Number twenty. I'm going back to it. Well, that was the private. Where is? <laughs> Can I ask you some details about this one? Where is it? And is it on? Um, on the north end of the pond. Okay. Uh, do you know where Jerome Uzerski lives? Yes. Do you know the road that goes to the pond? Just that after his. Yes, mm -hmm. at the end of that, okay. the pond end of that. Mm -hmm. and it, it apparently is going to go along the edge of the pond. There is some kind of makeshift trail there now. There is. And this proposal is to make it uh, a better trail and not necessarily for walking purposes, but to protect the wetland plants. It's going to be some kind of an elevated walkway. Probably right at the end. It is pretty swampy there, and I bet it's... Well, like I said, there's an existing trail there now that's yeah. trying to better it and, again, try to protect the wetland plants. Who More than the it? Friends of Lake Warner, apparently. Nice. Wasn't there, we did had some question too um, about the type of wood that they were going to be putting in there? We had, that Lots one, we questions. debated that quite, quite a bit. bit. Yes. I don't remember what the, he said at the end. Was he putting in pressure treated wood? I think that's what they ultimately came up with. That's why, right. because they came with a, a, an original proposal for less money. Right. And, and then we he wanted the convinced him that he wasn't using sufficient enough materials. Like mm -hmm. pallets. And, and so he went back and repriced pressure treated. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's okay where this for proposal is at. Right? I, yeah. Okay, just thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Is, is there a recommendation? I just don't want it to become a mess down there. Like if they're not going to take care of it, I'm worried about that. Fifteen hundred dollars doesn't go very far with pressure treated wood, does it? I mean, it's well, enough for a honestly, small walkway. Yeah, yeah it's not. Worry, it's not very long. But this is. I I think this one's going to be debated quite a bit at town meeting, personally. Yeah. So I just wish I could. Do you want to not take a position because we don't have enough information? Sure. Can we do that? Mm -hmm. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Do whatever you sure. Want. Well, <laughs> good. Let's skip Sorry. this one. Then we know. Yeah, we'll skip it. How do we do that? <laughs> no recommendation. At we this don't time. have a recommendation for our article. <laughs> <laughs> Select board. Article 26. The adult use marijuana general bylaw. This is prohibition against public consumption of marijuana. We have a bylaw that's on the books. Uh, please, please, please like to uh, strengthen it. Motion to approve. Any discussion? This is Article 26 or number 26? No, that's 27. No, not the, not the article for the zoning. The it's 27 is. according to what I have. 27. I have 26 and 27. Oh, really? I have 26. This is Berkeley Park. 
We don't want you talking about the wrong article on your first day. I think I think Why we're are you voting no? uh, because I think we're way too restricted on this article on on a uh, adult use marijuana complete the, the whole package and the planning board and the select board it's the people also, have voted it's also true if you don't make any restrictions then you have no restrictions I, I, I understand true. that but but limited not not like yeah. this all right so uh, let's go to division of motions here. Can we, can we do, um, in the spirit of time, can we do this at right after the, um, oh no, we have to do it before the public hearing. Yeah. We did make a motion. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Good. This is very well, okay. Do we want to make a motion to sign the warrant? I'll make a motion to sign the warrant. Second. Any further discussion? Hey, Mr. Chairman. Yes. If all this stuff passes, what's it going to cost on our tax rate? Can't say we haven't done the valuation yet. Anybody have no. any idea? Don't know Can't that Can't say we haven't done the what's valuation. We, we don't have those numbers yet. Will you have that for town meeting or are you going to have it before this? We, we have the current. You won't have the borrowing? You won't have, you'll have the borrowing, Correct. but you won't have the valuation, so you won't be oh. able to talk about the taxes. Yet. Okay, I thought about the borrowing articles we yeah. usually give people. No, just the bottom line, what it's going to cost the taxpayers on an average $330,000. Correct, and that's what we want. Right. Yep. Okay. Uh, motion, any discussion? There's a motion and seconded to sign warrants. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then we can do addition of motions. Heavy worksheet there. On the Actually, table. do you mind continuing to copy that? Yeah. 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 Write it on there. That's a lot of Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> consent agenda. Do we need to do anything there? No, it does. It should just set up the moderator. Yes, that's the moderator. I'll go and check. Prior year invoices. That would be administrator, or is that one of us? Whoever you want to assign to it. There's an administrator. And then we have two for the finance committee, the budgets, capital. You gave us two. You always give us one, David. What, what happened there? We like it. <laughs> Got Did you say capital? Capital. That's usually the liaison to the capital that, planning. That could be me. I think that's Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Uh, revision of revolving fund treasurer. Uh, do we want our liaison to town hall? Do that one? Sure. Okay. Uh, acceptance of unclaimed property statute. <laughs> Private duty detail revolving fund. Um, CPM land preservations are all CPA, all those. Uh, utility easement. 
Does anybody want to tackle that? That's for the senior center. Just the senior center, or should one of us do it? No, I mean, it's the liaison. The liaison. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I guess that's me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to do the Article 97? Sure. Uh, is it, do you want to do Zaterka Park too? Because those are kind of hand in hand. Yeah. And then John adult John use marijuana, general John bylaw. John I, think that John needs that one. I think I got a lot of conflict yeah. with that article. Maybe I shouldn't present it. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a yes? <laughs> <laughs> Or do we? No, seriously, John. John, John okay. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, yes, I'll read no. it. Yeah. Yes, He's I'll read it. Okay. <laughs> Although I'm against it, it I'll read it. <laughs> okay. I think we got it. Okay. You satisfied, okay. David Rosanna? Congratulations. You have a budget. You have a warrant. You have a nine week town meeting. And we are in a very good space. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you, finance committee. Finance committee, you. you guys are good. Thank you very much. Yeah, we had to split up ours. <laughs> oh, you got oh, yeah, yours? Oh, okay. oh, gosh. They're all the lines. Two, three. Oh, okay. You'll, you'll be here, too. Okay. Yeah, and, and is there... Is, is it absolutely necessary that we, when we go through each one, that we say uh, other, you know, read each one, or can we just read the bottom line for each one? You know what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, okay. so uh, let's talk about that. Uh, okay. Less is more. Yeah. I mean, because everybody's get, given this, right? Yeah. Yes, we have a power at the meeting. That. Everyone can receive this yeah. when they go in. Yeah, so let's talk about that. Uh, okay. Mechanics. I'm happy to work with you on that. Okay. I mean, anything to shorten this meeting, right? Absolutely. I did not want two days again. Yeah, no. <laughs> can okay. we just say refer to your pages? Yeah. <laughs> you won't get away with it with Sorry. Okay, so okay. let's uh, just, well, thank you very much. You thank guys you. can All right, go. Thank you. We're done. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. And let's jump ahead to Kestrel Land Trust, if that's okay with everybody, because Paul's okay. here. And give him a chance to update us yeah. with the state grants. Oh. Um, so, so, yeah, thank you for yeah. your land. Thank you for taking the time to hear me. I know there's a lot of heavy lifting in the budget and yeah. all that. Uh, so I appreciate it. Um, so you, you've heard by now that we, the state is, is willing to commit money that we had applied for uh, to protect land and, uh, in various towns, including Hadley. Um, uh, part of that money is, is going to uh, have to be expended in, in this fiscal year. Um, one parcel is already closed. Um, and the bulk of the money is going to be in the next fiscal year. Now it's a, that's the state's fiscal year, so fiscal year ends with the June 30th in the state. So moving forward, um, there's a couple things that the state wants us to do, um, and things that we have to do to move it forward. Uh, first thing that they've asked us to do, and it's really a kind of a bureaucratic thing with regard to the state, is that the the, the land upon the range that had kind of had the owns 350 acres, um, that land, um, the state considers that to be nominally protected under Article 97, and to put a conservation restriction on it, as we had talked about, would require an act of the legislature. It's a pretty, it's not a, a dramatic act of the legislature, it's more of a kind of a, you know, something that they just pass through automatically. Even though it's already, you know, conservation land, and you're, you're putting more, co you know, more conservation on it, theoretically, they still require that process. And so, as, to make that happen, you have to, you have to vote on it at town meeting in the fall. Um, so there has to be a recommendation from the select board to advance that to the town meeting um, so that can be voted on to allow a conservation restriction to be put on that land. On which person? Chmur. There's Chmur the 300, or the on and Bay Road. The, oh, the 350 acres, okay. three parcels of land. Up there. Is there any precedent for this anywhere yes, else? Yes, there is. It's been done before. Um, in other parts of the state, this is what EEA is telling me. They have language specific to um, the kind of motion the legislature would have to would have to um, uh, advance in order to, to make it go through. Well, what if the town doesn't vote for it? If the town doesn't vote for it, it doesn't happen. So, can we um, 
I guess, get a head start on the conservation restriction language, so that way yep. we can go to town meeting floor with it all ironed out. Absolutely. Because otherwise, you know, people are not going to know what they're voting Ab for. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. We can we can get that going for sure. Okay. Um, and what what it, that's one of the things I want to talk to you about is we'll have to convene in a subgroup of some sort. Um, presumably somebody from the Conservation Commission, some of you folks might want to be there and talk about what you want in that, in that conservation restriction in terms of reserve rights. Uh, so put your thinking caps on and think about, you know, ahead in the future, what kind of things you want to see able to occur on that land. You know, so, you know, somebody at one point mentioned you might, you might want a town beach on one of the ponds. I don't know if that's something that still people are thinking about, but, but you have to encode that in the conservation restriction or you'll never be able to do it. So. So what's the advantage of taking it out of Article 97 and putting it into the conservation? It doesn't come out of Article 97. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just an allowance, you know, the, for whatever reason, it's a bureaucratic thing with regard to the state. But once something is in Article 97, you can't really make any changes to it yeah. without going through this process. As soon as you put a conservation restriction on land, it's automatically protected under Article 97. So it never leaves Article 97. It's just an, it's just an allowance to add this restriction to something that's already in Article 97. Yeah, because under Article 97, we couldn't really develop it anyway. Correct. Correct. Exactly. So, Correct. But this would change be it, really. contributing to a larger project. Right. It would be contributing to a larger project. It will also permanently create a public access provision, which people thought was important. It allowed mm -hmm. people to go out there and hunt or hike. Or, right now, there's no permanent public access you know, is associated with that land. So this basically okay. allows us to it, put permanent preserved. Yeah, but this, this allows us to kind of codify what access we will have forever, regardless exactly. of what the future boards would like to do. So exactly. Right. So yeah. Okay. Uh, when when do we want to kick off that process, or what does that line up with your schedule? Um, we can we can start doing it at any time. I just need you you all to decide who is going to meet with me to talk about what kinds of things you want in that in that conservation restriction. Some okay, of the stuff is kind of basically schedule? boilerplate template. I mean, you know, you know, obviously there will be you know public access. People will be able to hike. People will be able to hunt. Things like that are kind of boilerplate. Yeah. But if there's anything unusual or extraordinary that you want in there, you'll have to think about what those things might be. Well, and I can help you with that. I can help you brainstorm that. Yeah. There were snowmobile trails in there from the Yeah, storm. I wonder if we want to have those somewhat will be included. You'll have to identify where, it is. where they are, essentially. Oh, David, do you have a comment? Yeah, so I'm already working on the special town meeting warrant for the, the fall. So if you want to send me in, uh, some template language, I can at least create the pl placeholder in the warrant. So that That'd be great. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering if there's anyone from the community that would want to be on a committee to work with this as well. Just people that bike, sure. have interest mountain biking, hunting, you know, whatever yeah. up there that mm -hmm. might be interested. Um, perhaps we can put something together to determine that. I think that uh, just maybe an idea. Um, I think a couple of public forums have to be held. So you see where the public's going to be on this. I think public forum or some other mean for people to convey their concerns, their priorities, yeah. and then let the group work at work with it from there to kind of narrow it down to what we want to include. Yeah. That's okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So let's uh post posted. I guess yeah, but post a public forum in the next couple of months maybe yeah i don't know how how fast you know we're talking fall town meeting so we want to get moving but we don't have to do it you know in the next three weeks no or something like no that. And, and like i said most of the stuff's boilerplate so really all we're adding in is any unusual reserve rights that you want mm -hmm. you know, the, a lot of the stuff we have language already ready to go in, in there um, it'd just be anything strange or unusual that, that you know oh, certainly people see. that their property of butts there would like to be on. Mm -hmm. Can you send me the boilerplate language you have the template? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, and that can be part of what we post for the hearing. So. Well, uh, you might, you know, it's it's complicated. It's legal language. So, you, you know, wh whether you want to put that up there okay. and, and have people read into it in strange ways that you don't want them to read into it, might be might be not 
is there any kind of document then that is more what we can do is friendly what we yeah what we can do is we can we can kind of summarize what uses under that template would be normal and what which, which ones would be optional and you'd have to think about what additional things you want in there and do you have any kind of presentation you'd be willing to give at that form to kind of kick off the discussion I'd be glad to do that yeah okay yeah, yeah. okay so let's set a date. I, do you guys want to set a date now? Does somebody want to make a motion to do that? Do we want to make a motion to look at that at another meeting? So that they would figure it out town meeting. Yeah. Get through town meeting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We can put it on the calendar a few weeks out, or we can talk about it after town meeting. So let's so talk about one, it after. One thing the state, the state asked me to ask you now is to is to be able to get that on the, the calendar for the, the, the fall town meeting mm -hmm. in terms okay. of, yeah. So yeah. I need to come back to them and be able to say that you've, you've done that. Yeah, I'll make a motion to put it on the fall town meeting. Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you so much. <coughs> Is that um, simple majority or do you know what that's going to uh, um, pertain type to? Type of vote. You know, type of vote for the town meeting? What type of vote? Um, I, I think it's simple majority. Yeah. 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 Now, is does that include the tax title parcels as well, or is that separate? Then? That's a separate issue. Okay. Okay. We'll have to talk about that at some point. Okay. Well, there's no ticking timeline on that as far as uh, town meeting or. Yeah, I'll have to think about what the deadline for that would be. Back to you. Because there's still people that wanted to buy those pieces of property too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Anything else? And let's move into the. Do you want to do. Uh, sure, we can do Senior Center Library and Fire Substation updates. Well, we have uh, our meeting schedule and then just code of conduct, which is going to be here's the code of conduct. We're going to talk about it at a different meeting. So mm -hmm. we can we can say the code of conduct is here. Please review it. And at our well, we can talk about it. Our first meeting in May, mm -hmm. not the May 1st meeting, we can discuss. Okay. So, uh, that sounds good. So let's hit Senior Center Library and Fire Substation updates. <laughs> no library updates. This was uh, uh, the Senior Center. We'll receive the bid documents so that uh, uh, we're going out to bid on the uh, library. 24th, so I'm scheduled. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, I didn't see this. Uh, it's just uh, email from our uh, OPM for the senior center that uh, the town's looking to send out notification to tenants of 148, 150, 152, and 156 Russell Street regarding that they, their parking cars they are the not to have their cars parked at the Legion parking lot on Monday, 422, to the pavement reclamation work. We will send out letters tomorrow. OK. Do you want that? Okay. You've got that. Okay. Um, and then um, just on the senior center, uh, hoping to have the building permit on Friday. I don't know if anybody's been over there, but the site is stripped. All the grass is pretty much gone. Uh, next week, we'll be excavating foundations and hopefully pouring concrete soon after that for the foundations. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else there. It's pretty much all the updates right now. Anything on fire substation? Yeah. Uh, as of last night, the planning board did pass the uh, sub fire station plans. Uh, we'll be moving forward. Um, I needed to come back to the select board to uh, change their vote. How if we had put in as an alternate the uh, underground system. Um, the Marcus from uh, Collier's had come up with another plan that the planning board was in agreement with and I spoke to John about this. It's a um, design team included an above ground base bid stormwater drainage system, a dry well within the stormwater basin. Um, yeah. As long as that is the correct loads for the driveway. Uh, and they've been both DEP approved so uh, <coughs> we would like to take out the uh, 
deduct the ad alternate of the underground system and put back in the uh, deduct alternate will be appliance scope into the furniture budget and deduct alternate two will be to install an asphalt shingle roof in lieu of the standing seam metal um, that is if there's enough money there are the alternates so I'd like to make a recommendation based on <clears throat> what went on at the planning board meeting last night uh, the revised recommendation from uh, Mark that um, we reorder, uh, remove and reorder the alternates that was just articulated by our, our liaison to the committee. Did he, uh, did he have a figure of savings roughly mm -hmm. from the underground to the... He didn't, but it was going to be a lot different. 50, 60,000 anyway yeah. is probably going to save. Mm -hmm. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank okay. Um, our meeting had schedule. Oh, why not? Oh, anything else on that? Yeah. I had a schedule. Uh, so we're going to post April 17th, which would have been today, deadline for filed sub-bids um, is May 21st at 2 p.m. and the general contractor bid deadline is June 6th. And that'll be for the uh, fire station. Uh, posted on the 17th published um, in the Gazette April 22nd and April 29th, uh, April 24th in Central Register, April 20, 22nd, uh, come bys and broadcast April 17th in the Hadley Media that will be going out to bid. Mm -hmm. And then Mitch Cook had sent an email wanting us to discuss the parade route. Yeah, I did oh, see that. I didn't see that in my yeah. committee. They want to use the north portion of East Street and close that. And that way, the um, public safety building and parking lot can be used for overflow of traffic for mm -hmm. the parade. So I'll make a motion to approve that. Second. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor. I had. Uh, I'm not going to change. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, check I mean, it can. It can either go around North Lane or Railroad Street to get to Newton Lane and go yeah, back to East Street. And Mitch is so. going to talk with uh, Gene Baxter and the other parade people <coughs> to coordinate it all with them too. So, yeah. okay, that should work out well. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'd like to say congratulations to Fred Mish, uh, who had a great run in the Boston Marathon. It was oh, nice to that. see a Hadley resident come in as he did from Western Massachusetts. So, congratulations, yeah. Brad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty impressive time. It too. was. I was too. really impressed by his miles times. So. He ran. Um, and uh, select board meeting schedule. If we want to talk through that, um, do we need a May 1st meeting? Yeah, there's a couple of things coming we up. We do. Sure. You're the death of me. You really are. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and then the, so we we're talking annual town meeting May 2nd, a May 15th meeting. Uh, I would like to move the June 5th meeting either to the week before or the week after, if that's okay. I don't know if anybody has any conflicts. Um, I will be gone the week of the 12th, but that's okay. I mean, I don't mind moving it to the week ahead. It would be, sorry, just be May 29th, it would be. Yeah, that's good. That's the uh, holiday week. Yeah. Yeah, it's Memorial, uh, Memorial Day week. That's Memorial Day week. We're going to be together on Memorial Day. Okay. Where? So if, if you want to move it to the 12th, I'll just, I'll just not going to be around. Okay. Is the 12th okay with everyone else? Anybody else have a comment? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So the 15th and. So the 5th to the 12th, June 12th. And okay. then. So the 12th and the 19th. 12th the and the 19th. Days. And then uh, July 10th, July 17th, August 7th, and August 28th. And those are um, fixed days for now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we want it. Anyone wants to have more meetings, I'm willing to schedule more. Or yeah. we can schedule more if needed as those yeah. dates come in. Do it if, needed. if needed as buildings. Yeah. Uh, you know, if mm -hmm. the well, library or senior center. Once they got going, were we going to post a meeting every Wednesday night yes, just, to, just I, in case? I thought we were going to post them every mm -hmm. every Wednesday at 6.30 if we needed them, yes. Yeah, we, we did talk about that. So if we post it, who has to be, how do we, 
how would we handle that? One of us at least has to show up. Well, it, it's not a valid meeting if there's no quorum. If there's okay. no quorum, so, there's no meeting. Okay. You just, you know, just our folks. Okay. We can also see how the process is so moving, along, moving along, too. along. Yeah. So we're posting every, we're at least tentatively posting for every Wednesday, June, July, and August. Yeah, and just from a timing standpoint, for the library, uh, the where are they at? We're gonna well, so the bid, um, the bid documents are going out on the twenty fourth, <coughs> and then it will go through that um, required period. So June twenty fourth, June third, that Monday night is when the library building committee will be talking to the OPM and architect about that return. So I don't. David, that doesn't necessarily mean that the select board would have to take action, right? No. Yeah, and the library trustees are playing a role here, too, so. But if, if we need to vote on the contractor, mm -hmm. we can schedule a meeting to just do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, so just be aware that, that right now, that's the plan. July 3rd, Ju July 3rd, you said? Or? Well, the, the bid docs would have to be back the week prior. Okay. But, so, but then it would have gone to the library building committee at that point. Okay. So that's kind yeah. of that, that would be a big week. Okay, and the last thing is town administrator report. If David, do you have anything to update? Oh, uh, so I'm meeting all the time at this point. Okay. Mm -hmm. I uh, have a question. Is there, so uh, for meetings, are we planning on meeting like an hour before town meeting like we normally do? Mm -hmm. Six. Six o'clock. Okay. And then I don't necessarily need, feel like there's a need, but are, are any of these upcoming meetings that you're planning on tri board meetings? We oh, were no, doing no the first meeting of the month were tri board meetings, correct? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I just wanted to. So it would be, I mean, May May is town meeting, so it would be June, June 12th, 12th, July 10th, and August 7th right now? The first Wednesday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Starting at 6. Mm -hmm. You want to start those at 6? Six? 6 or 6.30, six six whatever it is. 6.30's been working. 30's been working. Okay, yeah, so 6.30. 6 Do you feel like you want to take a break after town meeting for... Well, I don't necessarily know if we need to. Yeah, we could take a break, and, and unless the school, they haven't been coming. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there are a lot of questions there because of the charter reimbursement, and would like to have opportunity to talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. So we we'll yeah. tentatively, though, I'll yeah. list it as yeah. I just need to make sure, so I post it. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And they got they got smart chapter seventy. Seventy. Yeah, yeah. Well, then we got hit with the yeah. not they, the school. Right, the formula the state collaborators. on the uh, charter school assessment. Any other announcements? I think uh, just uh, check in with Randy, our new moderator, to find out if there's anything that you need from us. Uh, well, I'll be meeting with you. I'll set up a time to meet with you. We can go over everything. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody needs to talk to me about anything, feel free. I know you're <coughs> looking for my contact. Yeah, yeah, keep asking. I'll questions. be happy to give that to you. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, we prefer to do it on the fly right, <laughs> yeah, right at the well, meeting. Yeah. If there's anything that you're looking for and I'm not providing you, let me know. Okay. Sure. If you want to sure. talk about the adult use marijuana, you're welcome to. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 so you're passing that off already. I'll watch you squirm. <laughs> I was just going to say thank you to um, Jennifer and Linda Sanderson for coming in uh, on the holiday because of the hacking issue that we had. They both, yeah. one was traveling, the other one was off, and both came in to make sure that uh, bank accounts and other issues were taken care of. So yeah. That's great. Yeah. And, uh, with the board's permission, I'm going to allow Jennifer to take a floating holiday because she came in on the holiday to do that. Good. So okay. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, was this was just a random? Had nothing to do with the IT people? Yeah, so, so we're not quite. It's clearly a phishing uh, uh, attack. We're not quite clear as to what they were looking for. Was it just email addresses, or was it something else? And an abundance of uh, precaution. We changed all the bank account as well as the passwords for SCADA for mission for any automated system. So, and all the email accounts. Okay. And uh, April twenty fifth public forum is at seven o'clock, and May second is our annual town meeting, also at seven o'clock. So, stay tuned for those. Do you have something very quick? Yep. Yeah. 
Go ahead. I want to know on your website to look for your minutes for 2019. Where are they? Uh, Selectman's minutes. It's just time for announcement. Jennifer is updating them. So, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Are they there anywhere? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh,